he takes a deep breath. <laughs> deep breaths taken. <laughs> right, just waiting for a picture. Have we got a picture today? He asked. Not yet? No. Oh, no. Yeah, this is what happens. Sometimes it takes a while to forge its way up into business. And I think we have it now. Right, okay, we have a picture. Go on. Oh, yeah. I've, I've always got to wait because i got to, you know, wait because there's a lag. You know, so I don't want to start if I know the sound's not working or something like that. So I've got to kind of just check it at the start. Right, there you go. Just checking the sound. Right. <laughs> okay. Howdy, partners. That's the one you've been waiting for. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, back to Kingdom Two Crowns. Uh, I must admit, I've gone like Kingdom crazy the last few days because this is all I've been playing. I've been playing Kingdom New Lands just to kind of go back and think, oh, what was that game like? Man, that game is hard to compare to this. It is ridiculously hard. I am really dying all over the place on that. It's I've forgotten how hard that game is. Uh, so we're back to <laughs> Kingdom Two Crowns. New Lands, which is the new DLC. I must say I am impressed and I didn't pay very much for it. It's not that expensive at all. It's about £7 in uh, English money. Uh, well worth it, I'll tell you what. Now, I've had a little play on it. So that's the one on the right there. You see, with the, it's kind of Nordic. So it's kind of Norse mythology. The other two, I, I didn't even know I was doing that. So I must, I must be randomly playing something on that. Anyway, that's probably for a previous recording. So, I've done a little restart on it. So, I was hoping to have a spare slot so I could start a new one. Because I was going to use this one as a test bed. To kind of just try stuff out. And I got to, like, Island 3. Just. Just got to Island 3. Just so I could see how things are working. Because some of the things are completely different in this game. So, you know, just to go. So, I'm going to restart because I've got no spare slots, apparently. So, let's do a restart. Are you sure? You lose all your current? Yes, I'll go on then. New game then. Now, this is completely different. This is all Norse mythology. Now, I don't know what the sound is like, so I'll probably have to turn that down. But I'll tell you what, the music in this is stumpy. It's raw fury. And the others. So, so we're going to this one. Okay, now, don't forget, on to Kingdom Two Crowns, which is. I would say definitely the best one to buy. You got the, this choice, the normal game. Then you have the Shogun Edition, where it's all like everything's Shogunish, so all everything's been retextured. Then you have the Deadlands, if you want a real tough, tough one. That is a real toughie, apparently. But we're going to go on Norseland. I don't know if this is harder, but we'll see. It seemed to be, to me, on first glance, it seems to me a teeny weeny bit easier. But maybe it gets harder later on. Uh, oh, I've got to move the thing, have I? So we've got to follow the Queen. Now, I tend to want to go this way. All right, although I don't think you can go so far because, you know, there could be a chest there full of coins. And the one thing you want at the start of this, always different this time. <laughs> Uh, and and we got a big chunky horse now, uh, and runic runic stuff. So it's all cool stuff now. Now I try and remember the text every now and again. Really, you know you won't, Ray. Well, I'll try. Cause look, there you are. See, that's that's why I always go right now. That the opposite way to what she wanted me to go. Oh, no, it's a him actually. It's a him. Now, I'm not sure what we are. Uh, we are we a she or a he? I'm not sure. But this looks cool. I, I presume that is, you know, say night is going to come. Yeah, and this horse don't go very long. I can't even drop coins at the moment. That's how freakish this is. <laughs> but yeah, it takes a long time for them to get their breath back, doesn't it? Now, I don't know if stopping helps. But I'm thinking we should be getting there pretty soon because... You know, and then of course you get to this bit. Which kind of goes... Whoopsie daisy! Oh! Maybe me just walking past on the horse calls that a tumble. Alright, I'm, I'm getting, making my way there. 
But it's like different backgrounds, different trees. It's all kind of really cool. I must admit, I do love the, the, you know, the complete kind of the completeness of it. You know, it's just like everything is totally, totally, isn't it? This is the only help you'll get in the game, I'm afraid, is this first bit. Got to build a hammer, of course, to build stuff. And then you have to go to here to build a wall. And then we got to go and follow this guy. Of course, because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, we, we know that, right? We know you don't know what you're doing. It's useless. Oh, yeah, then we got to get another one of these. I'm going to get another one because I found a bag of coins. I must admit, I'm loving the... Uh... So, yeah, and then it says, stand here. But you, you need to clear some land. All right, so you can clear the land. So I'm just telling you that. And then you stand there and you get another bowman. And then you build, you explore, you defend and conquer. But you can't do that in the other two games, Kingdom New Lands or Kingdom the first one, which I have downloaded on PC uh, on Steam because it is completely free of charge, the very first Kingdom. And I've had a little go at it and there's no islands. There's just one place with multiple... Um, you know portals and that's it mate and you just gotta survive and I must admit I lasted 51 days which is not bad for first attempt I thought that was pretty neat and tidy now I'm gonna risk that although maybe coming up to night time so don't forget never do knock things down or try to build a wall or upgrade something just before night time otherwise you will live to regret it the sun there or is that the moon it looks like the sun but there are stars in the sky it's kind of I'm confused already now look it, it puts like instead of putting a cross on there it does these little rooms which is really nice and cool I just love the whole way this the whole look of it feels great and I know you're saying well it's just a reskinning but some of the mechanics have changed as well so it's of course the first thing you do when you play this game is to get the economy going as fast as possible. I kind of emphasise how important that is. You've got your trader. Whatever you do, don't knock down trees either side of a camp or a trader. And I'll tell you what, it goes viciously dark in here in the Norselands. Oh, it gets gloomy and ooh, you think, oh god, something's going to come out and rip my head off any minute. And everything's, you know, they're, they're all dressed differently, kind of Norse-like, you know, with long hair, look, different outfits. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving this game. I already like this game, anyway. It's the only real pixel art game I've played. Maybe Stardew Valley? Really? You play that way? Well, it's a good game. Full of cool stuff, isn't it? Oh, but it's a bit childish, right? A, yeah, but <laughs> sometimes even the childish things can give a child a, a fun time. Now, I'm going to get some other art. Now, very important in this game to get a few builders, not many, a couple, say, to start off with, maybe even one to start off with. The idea here is we do not overspend because that is where all your problems are going to come. Now, make sure you keep feeding this guy the one coin to go off it is. A lot of cow now, hairy cow. But look, they're all decked out in different stuff. But if this guy doesn't come back, your income plummets. And if winter comes, you better be ready. I better have stored some money. So, probably now we ought to... Have I built a wall yet here? I better build one quickly there, boy. Got to have a wall either side to start, but you're probably going to get one or two on the. F I think the first night you don't get anything. Although I could be totally wrong, because this is New Norse Newlands, <laughs> Kingdom Newlands. Right, we have our wall. There, is it. there we go. Right, okay, it's more than that. It's, it's two. Which are easily disposed of with one archer. Okay, and now the kingdom is safe. That's it. The end of the game. <laughs> Right now, we went that way, now we're going this way. 
So, I mean, this is the first thing I do usually, is, is I go left. If you're supposed to follow the guy to go right, I go left, because there's always a chest. Now, don't forget, do not overspend. Yes, is doing enough, and I'll tell you what, that recording thing is right over the back, so I can't see how full it is. This is where the guy is uh, goes through, you know, where the trader guy goes. Oh, I'm gonna... Now that means it's daytime, so it's safe. Now I'm gonna move that recording bar, I forgot to do that, so it won't be a second. You have a blank screen for a minute. There we are, now it's bottom right. <laughs> okay, so now you can hear me now. Now sometimes I, I'm talking while it's the blank screen. And of course nobody knows me. And of course you cannot refresh a horse, as you know, unless you're on grass. And although that may look like grass, that's not the kind of grass this horse eats. Now he does go, he can run for quite a while this one. It does seem to go a bit longer than the, maybe the first one in two grounds. And there's the W chest. So now I can see how much is in my bags. There we are. I've got nearly a full bag now. But again, don't get overconfident and go, Oh, I've got a load of money now. I'll build that wall up three levels. You know, don't do that. That is that is the worst mistake you can do. Now, I, the portal's there. All right. And we're just going to munch away here a bit. Refill before we go back. As long as you don't get too close, nothing to come out. Uh, and if you don't do it, you know, when it's getting close towards night time, of course. So I'll try and give you some tips. I don't say I'm the greatest player in the world because I make fundamental errors. <laughs> like I did when I was playing this. I got to Island 3 and made a complete hash of something and they destroyed me. So yeah, it's very easy to make one mistake in this which could cost you your life. Now I'm going to risk getting that because they do run back faster on this Norselands. They seem to move a lot quicker. I know on the very first game, I've only really just started playing, they don't even bother to run even when there's a tool waiting for them. Because as you know, if they have a tool waiting for them, you know, if you queue up a couple of things, you know, which I'm going to do now, then they are kind of amble. But if there's a tool, they usually will run home because they have a job to do. Alright? But in, the, in this, in uh, in the very first game, they don't do that. They just amble back anywhere, and sometimes even the builders just wander outside the wall, get themselves killed for no apparent reason. Probably because they're stupid. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this. Now, th th right, this is a little bit of a risk, but as soon as I found some coins on the left. I'm going to risk it because I found those extra coins, but really that's probably way too early because we need to go up a couple of levels before we can get farmers. So that is already a, probably a mistake because this game will punish you if you make a mistake. All right. Now, what we have to do is whatever side the camp is. So that's the there's a camp that side, okay? Now, I do believe on this side, and don't forget to let your guy eat some grass. So when you come toward the end of a grass, you know, one of this kind of grass, okay, that's when it recharge there, so that you can run a nice long way back. So try and time where, where you run out of uh, breath on your horse, or stamina, or whatever. Right, okay, so here they come. So there's not going to be many. You're going to get two or three, and that's it. Although they did grab a coin there. And they use those coins, as far as I know, to upgrade themselves. Because they got an upgrade as well. So I do believe if you give them coins, or you drop them... Because sometimes you want to save a worker, you might think, Oh, I'll drop a couple of coins. They'll pick up the coin, and then leave the worker alone. You could do that, but... You know, it, they will actually... I do believe they use that to upgrade themselves. I mean... Vote me if I'm wrong. So we're going to clear the land for the rabbits. Because the first thing, part of the economy you need to do is rabbits. You must clear land as long as it's not near a camp. 
or the uh, trader. So you've got a nice clear bit of land, so they can kill rabbits in there, it's a nice steady source of income, and they will collect f quite a bit of income for you, you know, they can all they can collect four or five, you know, get up to about ten coins if you're lucky. So I'm going to go, see, luckily we got to the grass just as we ran out, so let's go. I usually go to the end of the grass, so that we, we're as far as possible, so we've got the, the furthest amount of running. Now I pretty sure there's only one on this island maybe one on the left which is one of those things that you get rid of and then it becomes a lighthouse so there's probably one on this end I can't remember you know although I you know, had a little go on this again it's a good place to recharge right on the very end of the grass just, I just want to make sure that I can run back now these are procedurally generated so if you restart the game it'll be different Things to be in a different place, so you can sometimes have a farm in 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 not a very easy place to get to, or very long walk to get there. Oh, now wasted coins. So whatever you do, you don't want to leave coins. It's better if they get thrown in the river, really, because you don't want them to pick it up. Now this looks like the guy with the horn. Now normally you would get that on about level island number four. Again, I'll recharge on the end of here. And, um, but on this one, you get right at the beginning. So if that's the same guy where you can call all your forces to a single island, and especially if you're going from the fourth to the fifth, that is a very useful thing indeed. That's, of course, if you've got any forces on the other island. Now, this looks like the arrow one, so the one that gives you better accuracy with the arrows. So everything's all kind of done different in Northlands, and I must admit, I'm loving the feel of it, the music, is, is absolutely wonderful. And I don't mind that you hear the music over my voice. Although it pains me to say that. Now, I might be at a risk giving this guy the one. It, they do run pretty fast. Now, hopefully, they usually do pick up the coins. Uh, and then deposit them in your chest later. Well, no, no, they give it to you when you ride by. But if you ride by, ride by fast, they won't drop them. Or well, they won't drop the full quota. So now we're going to collect these coins, which obviously will not fit in our bag. So that was a little bit away. So I'm going to just upgrade it, just to kind of use up a few coins. So when you've collected a couple of chests, then you can just do a little bit more. Now, I am going to... Again, archers, you can never have too many archers in this game. Some people have gone absolutely crazy with archers. A couple of builders, and the archers just annihilate them. Because if you've got a million archers, you know, they can destroy anything. Right, now they start to beef up it. Now we're getting a few more. So we're kind of getting double now. And they're hugely inaccurate with their arrows. That's <laughs> why the upgrade is uh, so very good. Now, of course, the idea is to establish this base. I see I've got to spend it on something now because I've uh, emptied two chests. So I've got to do something now to kind of get rid of them. Otherwise, uh, they just fall into the river. So we're going to employ a couple more. And that means the morning has arrived. Now, don't forget, you can knock down trees to a certain extent, but do not knock down the tree before this camp. Now, I don't know if that's one or two there, but no more than probably there. I don't think I'll risk any more because, although that seems like the last tree, I'm not 100% sure it is, so I wouldn't risk it because you do not want to lose a camp. Especially on item one. So there is another one there. Yeah, so that is the last tree there. So we could take that one, but I'm going to leave it for a minute. And then you got this guy. So normally you can't do those trees in between these two camps. They're usually very close together. That I, that doesn't really change. I notice there's always a camp close, plus the um, you know the the trader guy. I only know a couple of the names of the, of the things. I know they're called Vagrants. Uh, 
and I know they're archers, and they, you know, and I know they're called the Greed, and I know that the big guys, the great big kind of troll-like looking guys, which are female by the look of it. So I'm gonna keep going with archers because you never have too many of them. And if you can't put, if it doesn't come up with the two little things like that, then obviously there's nobody, you know, there's not enough people been hired to be able to accept a weapon. Now, if they're coming in from the right-hand side, and say you say you wanted a guy, you know, one of the builders, right? And you queued it up. But then you also queued up an arrow. You know, the archery as well. Well, the guy is going to go for the first thing that it hits. So if you wanted to do a builder, but not an archery one, don't do the archery one first. Do the builder one first, wait till he picks up, and then do the archery one. Because otherwise you could be queuing up these right but they're always going to pick up these because these are queued up as well so you got you got other mistakes you must not make right we are still doing well on that now that farm right yeah we, we need a little a little bit on the top of it and usually the farmers will go in there and be safe at night they won't get caught by the greed whereas i think in the previous game um you know they just stay there and just get kill now to get the uh, farming going we're gonna need the next level up so I think we've already gone up two levels is it oh I'm doing the wrong one hang on I am getting confused by this because it's a completely different makeover on this I am getting confused by what's what because all the buildings are completely different they were quite easily distinguishable before but now I you know I kind of lose track of which is the the main one because these are quite big compared to how they were in the other game. Now I shall have to think about improving this outside wall soon too. Uh, because they are going to gradually ramp up. But it's safe for the, say, the first two or three nights to have that just singular wall. Just one upgrade only. Alright. But, you know, probably the next night we're probably not going to make it. But what I'm going to do, instead of making that wall up there, I'm going to look to see if there's anywhere better than that further on. Now again, we'll hire us the guys. You need to give them plenty of time to get to your camp. So obviously don't do it when it's approaching, you know, say the end of the day. You don't want to be going a long way and trying to hire somebody because, you know, they'll be unhired because they're, they're grappling. I'm looking for the first available spot with a rock, a large rock, and one of these small brown mounds it will take us you know as far as we can this way now there's lots of little rocks here and little humps like that but they're not the proper ones so don't be fooled because i know I, I did almost kind of fall for that because i thought one of those was those rock things but it's not it's just kind of and so is that you see it does look a bit like the rock doesn't it because I always like to build fairly close to where the portals are. So I try and move my camp out that far. But it doesn't look as though there's a very good place to be able to put it. You don't want a wall on its own. You could Really you need a wall and one of those stones as well. So that um, you, know, you can put the guy in the towers. Now you need diamonds for this. I think. <laughs> But yeah, it takes a long time for this horse, and I don't know whether stopping makes it quicker. I kind of stop sometimes. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be making a lot of difference. But please let me know if I'm wrong. Now, I think this guy's going to be close enough to home that I could probably risk it. We'll do it in front of him so that he runs that way. So that makes him get there a bit quicker. You know, if you do it to the right of him, obviously he's going to run away from it first, then run back. So I want him to run toward closer to the camp. That makes him run quicker. Right, now I think we will upgrade it. We should have time. It's kind of midday. So always kind of do it, you know, not don't do it before the end of the day. Now I might repeat a couple of times. Yes, I do tend to repeat a lot and I'm sorry for that. I'm doing my best. Because, <laughs> you know, there could be new players who find this game for the first time and I do highly recommend it. It's great fun if you don't mind kind of pixel art. 
this is a wonderful game. Um, one of the few in probably the last 20 years I've actually enjoyed a pixel game. It's a bit of a shocker I know. So again we're looking for, yeah, now this is the perfect place. is here and here. That is, now we don't do, oh, I accidentally pressed it. Alright, I made a crucial error there. That was a crucial error because it's late in the day and I've just sent a builder to his doom. So there's your first mistake. And they've got a long way to run. So we've made a first mistake already. Yeah, and I, I, I give the advice and then I brutally ignore my own advice. And they may be lucky. <laughs> oh no, they're not. Now I could drop a few coins to save our guys. But, but yeah, so I just took them to their doom, really. What can I say? I'm sorry. Sorry I took you to the doom there. But I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Do you ever? So now, of course, now night has passed. So I made a crucial mistake there. Should have waited for that attack to finish, then gone out here and done it. And I'll probably brutally pay, be, you know, pay for it now. So yeah, this is what you learn. Each time you play this game, you think, oh god, yeah, mustn't do that at that particular time. You know, this is how you learn in this game. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's like, you can't do the first one, but you can do the one or two after that. Oh, oh it's because I've already done it. Right, we're on day six of so Roman numerals, V equals five. Right, now I'm going to do the second one again. Don't you go away, laddie. Come back. Because we want it the second level now, because they're increasing in Jimmy's. <laughs> so I'm going to start another one here. And I'm going to clear the land a bit as well. Don't forget, we don't let's leave this too late. And then we're going to get a couple of guys, and then I need to get a, hire a couple of guys with a hammer. Because I brutally made a mistake. Uh, but yeah, you need to clear the land so the rabbits appear. There's your economy. Sort it out. And then once you've got a nice f seed, all this lot might drop some coins. There you go. They've been out hunting. But their new position is now far, far to the left, which is what we want. You want to... It's not a bad idea to build intermediate ones as well. Especially archer, you know, the archer things. Now this guy's going to drop a load of coins as well. So I am going to... Upgrade it. Now, this is probably a bit too early, but I do want to get the uh, economy going. And it should build uh, a farming thing in a minute, although I may have to go a bit wider to enact that. Did I not give you a coin? Right, so we need an, another possible couple of these, because I brutally sent them to their death. Probably one will do, because it looks like we got three. Again, more archers, because never have too many of them. Right, now we're looking for that second spot and hiring more stuff. So, uh, yeah, we can't do it anywhere along here at all. Right, it looks like it's night time coming, because when they start running, that tells you, hello. It could be that time of day, although we could be running just to pick up a coin. So it's kind of end of the day now. So I don't think I'll risk it now. I want to make sure I don't run out of puff. And uh, yeah, once you lose your crown in this game, once they, uh, if you run out of coins, they keep knocking a coin off you. Once you run out of coins, your crown is next. And if they pick it up before you do, that's the end of your game. And you go back to your previous thing. Now I'm going to do a save every now and again. I don't know if that is a hard save. And, and that's the one the game goes back to when you die. Whether... They're both auto saves. I'm not really sure because they both seem to take the same amount of time. Let's say on Series X is looking absolutely wonderful. Beautiful reflections on the water. I mean, I had reflection before, but it's just even better now. <laughs> so yeah, and I could do that. I mean, it doesn't matter because we're in we're, we're inside the wall. 
you can get away with doing a thing. But if you've already got one, an archer in there, I wouldn't recommend doing it at night. Because obviously the archer is in it, it's going to pop out. And therefore he loses his advantage of height. Right, here they come then. So we're on the second tier on the wall. This is the highest we can go. There we go. And now we can't go anymore. And you notice this got if you look at that, it's kind of like cedar trees or something or, or no. What is it? Kind of like white ones. So we need an upgrade, which is on another island. So we can't upgrade anymore. So what we need to do is get the economy going, number one. Now I'm going to look for a, a, a new position on the right. As well as hire a couple of guys. I want to find... I don't think there is one actually. And then when we got our, the economy really going, that is when we get the boat going. I got a feeling, you know, there's no real good vantage point. to put, you know, a wall and a turret. I cannot see a single one here. So this makes it a little bit tricky because what you then need to do is a lot of archers because you haven't got the guys with the, you know, the little kind of turret you can build them. Uh, so you just kind of have to build a wall. And I find it's a little bit less protected if it hasn't got the rock, you know, so that you can get to a, a bit of height, because the better height they have, the more accurate they are at shooting down, otherwise they've got to lob it over it inaccurately. So it is best to have that if you can. It's lovely music, isn't it? The calm before the great angry horde comes. I wonder why they call them the greed. <laughs> I'll tell you what, there's some cool stuff in this. Really, I, I'm not kidding, it is really cool stuff. I'm going to get rid of that tree just to give more rabbits. See, they're not nice painfully killing rabbits now. Ah, this guy, let you notice, he's, he's run home for some reason, though. I don't know why. Right, now this guy, I do believe, is the guy that you can give money to. Now he's going to give me some money, and you've got to give him one back. If you forget to do that, or I don't have a coin to give him back, he won't come back with more money. So always leave one coin for the trader. Okay? Right, now we have farming. So I'm going to do invest in a couple of farmers. Because... Once you get farming going, this game takes off. Really does give you tons of money. And that's what you need. You get a fabulous economy going. And it, it, it's, it's a lot of luck involved because sometimes there's no farming area anywhere near your camp. So you've really got to expand it a very long way. So, it, it, you know, sometimes it throws you a bad kind of ball, you know, and says, you know, this one is tough, so it, sometimes it can be a bit tough. Now, I'm going to build, if it's very close, well, actually, I shouldn't have done that. It's funny, that they'll, they'll go out even when it's dangerous to go out. They go, oh, I don't care. This guy, if I throw the coin there, he may run to it and he may get back in time. I'll tell you what, on the very first game of this, Kingdom, which is free on Steam, by the way, so if you're on Steam and you want to have a little go at this, on the very first one, with no islands, but you just got to survive as long as possible, give yourself a little go on it. It's great fun. I think I'm wrong with it being free, can you? Right, so once we have the economy going, we were defeating these guys, but, you know, it's, they're getting higher and higher all the time. Now, if you do this... Guess what this do? Now, this isn't in any of the other games, but if you load that up, so it looks like a round thing. It gives them shields, so I presume they're more protected. So if they get through the wall, I presume they can kind of fight off, because they have a shield to put up. So that's a new addition to the game. So uh, that is very nice as well. So very, you know, Viking-like. 
There's also this little kind of man here. Like when you've got so many of them, I think with the shield, you can upgrade it to do like a some fighters that go outside the wall. Like four of them outside the wall, and they will kind of cut them down, uh, as opposed to staying behind the wall. Now what I might do, yeah. Uh, Let's go very, as far as I can to the end. And then we got to think about getting that boat started. So again, we're looking for places where rock and a mound. That is the ideal place. Right now, there's no grass yet, so I'm getting a little bit worried because this one's going to run out of puff. The magic dragon. <laughs> right now we won't go anymore. So now we got. So we gotta be careful here. We don't get caught out, at, in, you know, at night because the greed could catch up. Now this is one of those little kind of people that you can hire. So I'm gonna risk a bit more, but this is a little bit of a risk. So I just want to make check that there's just one on the end here, which is the lighthouse. Right, okay, so there it is. So if just stay, but you know, be as far away as possible. We sh there shouldn't have a greed come out of there, but if you see it glowing and you get too close, they could come out, of course. So looks like the next bit of grass was within range, so we're all right on that. So I always go to the far end of it so that we get the maximum distance possible. All right, and then we can run. So this run, the guy's not fast, but he, he has a fair bit of stamina. I will just check now and again, Dave uh, <laughs> on chat. Uh, I think I, somebody came in right at the very end last time. So uh, sorry to that that guy that came in at the end. Uh, he, he came in, I think, just as I was leaving. It's always a shame, isn't it? <laughs> just as you're getting going. Yeah, I was really quite full because all these could look like rocks, but they're kind of like fake rocks. You know, it's like background. So it kind of caught me out. I thought it was and made a, made a mistake. Right. So we could go up another level on that, but I'm not going to do it too early because, you know, as I say, do not level up to try to spend your coins. Try and keep spare all the time and only spend them if you need to. See, now we're going to get some farming going. So there's what about three farmers there. So I'm going to invest in more. Uh, what is that? Yeah. So I'm going to do another one because we can never have too many farmers. They are protected by the wall, so it's safe to do that. I might do a builder at some point, but I'm going to keep going with some archers for a minute. They know they're getting more and more, and once you get the big guys coming, you're in a mound of trouble. So we have really got to leave this island before the big guys come. All right? Why? Because they'll obliterate your base. That's why. Because we, we 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 cannot go up to the next level, and can't have stone ones. Well, so, well sorry, cedar ones. On it's usually stone, but um, yeah, these uh. It's just like stronger wood, really. So our objective is to attack the one on the left, uh, the on the end of that pier there, because that one there, once you defeat that, then uh, it will become a lighthouse. And then if you fully expand that lighthouse, all right, then you'll be in business because that means if you die on the next time, now I'm going to risk this one here, but not that one by the camp. And the camp will disappear, and you do, don't want to get rid of the camps. Best to enclose your camps within your walls, really. But I think this uh, does need. If you get a, a, a diamond, whatever you do, protect them. Do not let the greed get them. Whatever you do. Because you will never get them back. And that could cost you the game, especially later in the game. Uh, you know, at 
say the third or fourth island, if you start losing diamonds, you will not get all these wonderful upgrades and you will never be able to get them. So don't make that mistake. You might get a couple back. Uh, if you defeat the greed on this particular island, then they will give you, might give you one or two. So I'm not quite sure whether it's every island or whether only on the later ones. So be very careful of your diamonds and if you expanded your wall far enough, uh, you'll get the little guy where you can store diamonds in the little box. I would take a tip from me, store them and keep them there until you want them. Then you don't risk losing them. Okay, only very occasionally will he not give you one back. Uh, that's quite rare though. I've only ever had it happen once. Now, they're busy slaughtering animals. <laughs> Which I, I don't promote that, of course. And um, we got a nice bit of grass now. That's it. Take a bite of that, mate. Now you've got to kind of, yeah. Sometimes if you're on the very edge of the grass like that, you know, you won't, you won't do it. So you've got to be on the kind of proper grass, not the kind of little tiddly bits at the end. I won't. I don't want to pick that up. So we'll run past, and then we won't pick up any or very few. Uh, otherwise, they just drop them all over the place. Right. Uh, he's going to give us some, which we can't pick up. So I'm going to kind of step away from him a bit. If I, uh, oh, I can't level up that either. Oh, it's not daytime. So I've got to spend money now. And you know how much I hate spending money. Now, has this camp got available people? It has. He might just make it. So I'll drop it around about there. That'll make him run towards it. And give him a better chance of getting back home. Now, probably this is the next best point. I know it's not very far. But it is a far, far better thing that we do now than we've ever done before. <laughs> I don't know why I'd said that. Now, once we get a blood moon, which I think is about every five days, then you're going to get a horde of them. Alright? If you don't know what a horde means, it means a lot. So we're going to look. We're on day... Oh, day 10, yeah. Day 10. So we could be getting a blood moon soon. I'm not sure of the preciseness of that. Now it says there it is one portal. Well, there is one portal, but there's also one on the other end, which is your lighthouse one. So, and of course, it won't tell you how many diamonds there are and, until you actually discover them. Then it will say, oh, there's three on this island. So it didn't always tell you that either. Now, the only thing we can do really is upgrade this, which gives them a better chance of hitting down. So I'm going to do that on that one. We probably don't need to do that yet. But now we've got to think about the second island. So I'm going to raise it up. Because I have a nice economy going now. And as I say, it's a bit of a, a look at the draw. Sometimes you get a poor deal on the, when you start your game and you, you know, chance of doing a farm is a long, long way away. Then, then it can really be a hard game. That makes it a lot difficult, especially if camps are a long, long way from uh, your home as well. That makes it very difficult. Because they've got a long way to travel and you've got to get them back in time. You know, and it's best to have a DeLorean car if you want to do that. <laughs> First day of good day. Right, so he's going to knock that up a bit. So now I've got to think about boat time. So the economist going, oh, hi, the Twitch, Carl. How's my kingdom going? So far, it's okay. I hope you're still watching. <laughs> if so, please. Oh, I should keep you on the chat now because somebody's entered. Entered the building. Uh, and I'll show you what I know about this game. I'm getting better and better every time I play it. And uh, I have defeated it completely on the normal game. So uh, I've got an idea how to play it. I do make the occasional mistake. And I pay for that with my life at times. So occasionally I do make the old mistake. So we've got to look for the boat and we've got to start thinking about the boat now because we need to get the second island because that's where the stone upgrade is for your house, for your walls. And we definitely want that. Now, whatever you do, as I said, 
We do not send the builders out at night. Now, is it night time or don't know? See, you can't tell when you go in the forest. It's so dark you don't know it's dark, nark, nark, nark. <laughs> and I can't really see the sun through there. Although that, I don't know, is that it there? I mean, it's hard to tell, isn't it? So I don't know whether it's worth starting it. Because you don't want to send them out in the daytime. Right, there we go. Got a bit of grass. So now we can pick it up. Oh, hello, the Twitch Coral. I'll write that down. I've actually got my notepad today. In a vain hope that somebody may watch. I know it's a vain hope. <laughs> you know, I don't have much of a schedule and I am, can be a bit random, so I'm sorry if I'm a little bit random. I'm sorry about that. Right, let me write that name down. I don't want to forget it, because it's very important to me. Every single person that comes in. Right, there's another one here. Sometimes they're kind of hidden behind the, you know, the back of the building, and they don't, you, you know, you see the one, and you think, oh, is there another one? And sometimes it's just hidden behind, it and you just won't kind of do nothing. So you don't know if there's one there or not. But I think occasionally there is just one anyway. So sometimes if you go past it, and when you come back, the second one does appear. So sometimes it does that. Well, I think we're okay for archers now. We're doing pretty well. We can't upgrade this anymore. So really, we've kind of come to the end. We could get another farmer, perhaps, because you can never have too many farmers in my book. Because that is your lifeblood, is your economy. So it's all about survival. It's all about strategy. But it's just a very basic tutorial at the end. And as you go progress to each island, it gets progressively difficult. So now, usually it's fairly safe. Once the bigger ones come, and the flying ones, which I think are called... You know, I'm not quite sure what the flying ones are called. But it, I kind of go to the right just to see if those are coming. But although that won't be till a lot later on. When the flying guys come, they're sometimes a little bit behind all the rest. So although you think it's safe, it's not, because they could be just a little bit behind. So you may send your guy out, and they're right behind. So now we can start doing the, the boat, because we need to get to the second island as fast as possible. I think this is just a nice bit of scenery, and I do love the scenery in this game. It is absolutely fantastic. It's... Hi, the Twitch car. <laughs> nice of you to come in. So if, uh, yeah, I like to have a little bit of fun. I kind of usually play them blind without having a clue but I'm kind of trying not to do that as much now because man have I been punished for going into games completely blind but I do usually like doing it the very first I like to learn the mechanics myself work it out of my own little brain because I'm getting on a bit now and the old brain needs a bit of stimulus otherwise it probably disintegrate so I, I, that's why I kind of like to play blind, because I, I other people do like to play it blind. And I, like, I, I don't like to look it all up on Wiki and go, right, I know what the names are, I know how to upgrade, you know. I want to work it out myself. And then maybe a second time I will think, oh, what I've learned or what I've seen on YouTube, then maybe I will improve, but... Yeah, I kind of, you know, I do kind of like that scenario, blindness. Uh, it's great fun, and I do like to have a little bit of a laugh and a joke as well. Uh, and hopefully a little bit informative. Although I can make vicious mistakes <laughs> all over the place. Now, we could we could move here, but which is the next kind of most likely spot, really. But it's only barely in front of that one, so I'm kind of thinking that's a waste of time. We need to go further than that. So if we can have a... Nice big rock here. As long, you've got to make sure the rock has the three things above it, otherwise it's kind of false rock. So if you don't get this, then it's best to have two mounds close together. So if they're halfway through, say, the first wall, and you know it starts to disintegrate, they will retire back to the second wall. So it's a good idea to have that second wall if you haven't got the you know, the rock there. Uh, which is for the yeah we're just throwing money away here they hopefully should pick it up but half of it goes in the in the river so now i'm gonna because i've got money to spend because my economy is so good now 
I'm going to give these guys shields just to kind of waste my money, really. Although it's not a waste because it makes them stronger. All right, but I'm still full of money because I'm I'm a little money bags. Now, I don't think you can call this these guys until you've got to the stone upgrade. Oh, I tell a lie. It's when you've got so many archers. So now what I could do is do this guy, right? Yeah, now throw him money at me now. Get off. I don't want it. Now, just for a joke, I'm going to do that as a nice second defensible wall that we can retire behind, just in case they get through that wall. Now, they won't yet. Stop giving me money. I have too much of it already. Why are you talking in that silly way, Ray? Now, you notice those kind of... You know, because I activated this guy here. Try not to activate the coins. See that they've gone in front of the wall and they would do a full frontal assault. Like that. And they would just chop them down. Now, as long as they're these guys, they chop them down. If it's got the guys with masks, the bronze mask, I think they can knock it down, but you could lose one. So, they're good early in the game. If you just want to go at somebody and just hack them all down quick without worrying about your archers. So that's a good little upgrade, just by doing that kind of one that comes up on that little statue there. As you can see, we're rolling in cash. So we've got to do the boat, right? So we're going to concentrate now. Practically 100% on the boat, because we need to get the island to activate the, uh, the wall. I know, I'm repeating. You're still here. Thank you, uh, the Twitch car for staying here. I gotta give this guy a coin as usual. So don't forget the guy with you know the old market man there. We got three guys this time, but probably because last time there was another guy, but he was kind of hidden by the trees and so we couldn't see him. Right, now we go for the boat. We gotta get the island two as fast as possible. I'm probably gonna do about an hour and a half on this, because there's not a lot you can do in an hour, so I'm gonna recruit all these because they're nice and close to my camp. And we call the builder now before. You know, it gets too late now. You've got to put a huge amount of wood on this. Oh, I tell a lie. In the Norse lands, they're built a lot quicker. Before, on the, the normal Kingdom 2 crowns, you had to put a load of coins in, and then you had to do endless amounts of two coins, two coins, and probably, I don't know, 20. Now they launch much quicker. Seems like with each new game that they do, they, they do improve stuff. All right, now what they do is now they grab hold of that boat and they will push it along toward this bell. And if you ring this bell, once the boat has arrived there, that will send your guys onto the boat. So that's what we need to do is get a nice force, put them on your boat so that when you go to the second island, you've already got some archers you know, some builders all ready for you to start. So that gives you a good start on the second one, where it is a bit harder, okay? This guy lost his life somehow, or lost his tool. That's what they do, they grab your tools so that they can use them. They're not dumb, you see. So again, we're going to put a little bit into there, because we're going to get the mildews of money now. Tons of the stuff. And I'm going to upgrade that again. And then I'm probably... I mean, I'm thinking about going there, but that's probably a waste of time. But Lots of big guys up here. We definitely have to have many walls to slow them down at each one. But all we're concentrating on now is going for the guys on the left, getting that boat going, hiring people, so that when we leave this base, there's still people left here uh, to defend this place obviously because obviously we don't want to overdo it now we could I haven't used this yet but if we had a diamond we could change it today I haven't accessed that yet I haven't really used it now I'm not going to go too far because it's probably I'll tell you what the other game you know it gets a bit dark when you go in the woods but I'll tell you what on this is really creepy dark <laughs> it's oh it's almost gives me the willies, although I don't get scared by anything. Not in real life or in any other game, apart from in VR. You know, in a vicious, you know, frost, what was it is, you know, what do you call it? Fr I've forgotten now. Here I am, a Skyrim addict. 
I've forgotten the what's it a frost something spider that you know that thing you get that jumping at you in VR you turn around and whoosh he jumps at your face I tell you what that scared of living daylights out of you even me who's unscarable yeah I know I'm wasting coins again so don't forget start the game you knock down trees as long as there's no camp there right you knock down trees clears the road you get your bunnies that gives you your income off you go then you look for the first place uh, where you can do a farm but, but only do it when you have the cash okay never overspend in this game because that is crucial now I'm looking for a good spot to advance our wall so that we're as close to this portal as possible now it doesn't look as though we're gonna have a wall and a mound but that's probably the best is just here so it's a bit early in the day so we're gonna get rid of that so that we've got access to that mound this is probably the best place to do it so depending on how long it takes him to get here because it is a fair walk even for a Viking <laughs> I hope the stream is coming out okay. Not a lot I can do about it on Twitch because it's, it's kind of on a console. This is on a, uh, an, you know, an Xbox Series X. Now we could build this, of course, because you know they're not going to all advance to this. They're, they'll only advance to a wall. They won't advance to a turret. But I'm going to just see where the sun is, and if there's enough time to build this wall twice. And I will do it. But if it's not, then we'll just build one of these because we want them to have time to get back. In fact, I may just leave them as knocking that down and let them get back. Now they do kind of hang around, but they, it's, you know, when it gets toward night and they know, they know they're coming, they usually run back in time. Although they haven't got a DeLorean car. But they, you know, I think the first game they didn't. They were not very good at running back. They were just amble slower than you can walk in real time. And it was the slowest walk you'll ever see. And they always got caught by the greed. Well, right, in the second game, which is Kingdom Two Crowns, uh, it well, and New Lands, I think they also came back. Sometimes they're a little bit buggy on your new lands because sometimes they don't come back all the way. They kind of pop back outside the wall a little bit and get stuck. So, uh, right, I'm not going to borrow that wall there. Why? Because I can't bother. <laughs> so, so I'm like that. I'm, I'm funny like that. Although it's debatable whether I'm funny. Of course. Would like I'd, I'd love to have a go at that because I, I haven't pressed that yet. Oh, oh, don't give me money. Go, you pick that up, pick it up, please. Oh, he's not picking it up. Yeah, I'd rather throw it in the water than leave it for the greed because now I'm gonna try and tempt this guy and see if he'll get back in time. Come on, come on, come on, you can make it, guy. Boy, boy. Oh no, don't drop me coins. Oh no, that was kind of stupid. Well, luckily I dropped the coins inside. So try at least try and pick them up so that they drop inside. So at least, you know, they might pick them up. But I don't want to overflow them too much, so I don't want to lose too many. So I, I could do a couple of these just to give them a bit defensive. Stop giving me money, please. i got loads of it. I'll tell you what, I'll build that just to get rid of coins. <laughs> Because <laughs> you should build that pretty quick. It's only a, a first tier. Right. Oh, this guy made it. So he, he did make it. So we just give him enough time there. Thank you. <laughs> and of course he'll help. And the most that will ever do the building is two. You won't get... So there's no point doing, say, four builders thinking, oh, four of them will help build it and do it twice as fast. Two is the maximum now. Right. Now, now that we've done that, we immediately set out to that point because we need to be as early as we can to set things up so that it's done by the night time we want to upgrade it to a second tier and then we want to get back to that boat again because this is the first one we're going to attack because that gives us a lighthouse now we'll repeat a few times 
But I'm just trying to make it sink into your heads. Because I can't think of anywhere else to sink it. Now, alright, this one's a little bit far away from the walls. So his arrows may not reach. But this is the best possible defensive position. So, we, you know, at least that cut the distance in half. For getting to that portal, which is what we want. And then we'll, we'll do this one as well. Because even if they knock this one down, say at some point they get a bit too strong and they knock that wall down, yeah, at least this one's there. So we can kind of kill a few as it makes its way to our camp. So it's always nice to have a couple of these intermediate ones filled with archers. It's only later in the game when those kind of guys that float up in the air and they're the ones that grab them out of the towers. Uh, it's only when you get those that it's probably not so, so good an idea to do that. But uh, these guys won't take long doing this, but we've got to get to the second tier as fast as possible. And we should have plenty of time. And then our... And then it's all about getting to the second island as fast as possible. Now, they will all now take that long walk to this wall. So that's why you need to do this early as you can, so that they've got time to get here. Otherwise, they'll attack the wall and there's nobody to defend it. I don't know about you, but why do you guys have a shield? Uh-oh. Oh, that means there's a, you know, like a blood moon coming. Holy bananas. So now, you see, things get tough. And I hope our archers get here in time. And that sound seems to be the sound of a cave door opening. Now, if they don't get here, this wall will be destroyed. And those two guys will get killed. So we need these archers here as fast as possible. Come on, lads! Although in Norse, it would probably be Here is Hook the Clan Padding! Although that's nothing like uh, Norse speak. Or Swedish or. Are they Norwegians? Yeah, it's alright, there's no need to throw it on me. Yeah, that's shooting bananas, I guess. <laughs> I hope the Twitch, you know, the stream is running okay. I nearly said the Twitch is running okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, good, good, all the archers there, that gives us a hell of a chance. Now, of course, they're going to be a lot more now, because it's a blood moon. And you know what that means. Any of you like a shield? I got loads of money, I'm dripping in it. Now, hopefully they can see off the threat. I love the music, it's so eerie. It, please tell me if, you know, if I'm not coming through very loud and the music is, you know, like, it's, it's way too loud and you can't hear me. Please tell me and immediately I'll turn it down because I'm the most important thing you should be listening to. And I say that with, you know, a little bit of tongue in cheek, because it is tongue in cheek. I don't care about whether you watch me or not. Well, I don't, well, no, I tell a lie. I, of course, I care that you watch, but, <laughs> I don't know what even I'm trying to say now. I think I messed it up, really. Well, are they coming or not? I mean, sometimes there's a blood moon, but because they've already done an attack. So you're only attack every so many days. And it, it looks like it's not that day yet. Now, it is possible you could send, if you've got a ton of archers, right? And, that, and a ton means a lot, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> it is possible that we could possibly get all the way to the thing, but the trouble is if, 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 if we're a long way away. See? We're a very, very long way away, so by the time they get there, it'll probably be night time, and then they get invaded and killable. So we've got to be very careful about how we choose it. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to... No, I won't send... But this is probably a good place here, possibly. But we've got to kind of clear the land in this area first. I don't want to pick it up, coins, a waste of time. I could... You know, you know, he may survive. Or he may not. Now, I've been playing, I was playing this solid for hours the other day. Thoroughly enjoying everything. Now this is where we need the diamonds, yeah, so we'll get diamonds 
store them and you've got to make your walls wide enough and you've got to upgrade a few times so now that we've uh, kind of we haven't got the blood moon we didn't get anything attacked so we were lucky at that time but that's why we need the boat going yeah I suppose we could do this day thing if I got a diamond uh, it would be nice so these probably got time to get back so say so try and throw it in front so it runs towards it I know I'm repeating but yeah, I like repeating. <laughs> oh, I thought I could upgrade that. Right, so we've got a few defensible walls now. So that's we're not so worried about the left-hand side, although we are. Yeah, we're worried about it, but we're not worried about the point where we're panicking. It's the right-hand side we've got to worry about. That's the that's the dangerous one. But we've got you know we could with a ton of archers actually defeat them on the left possibly but it's better to have the kind of upgrade which is why we need the next upgrade to this to this game so this is why the boat now is number one priority now he won't run now so we've got to give him a little munch and try not to pick up the coins but we will but they'll they pick up some of them so although you lose some They will pick up some, so let's save a few of them. I got some, I'm dripping in money now, so uh, although dripping seems to be my favourite word at the moment, I don't know why. So what I'm thinking now is, should we get the guys to board the boat? Oh, it's probably the wrong time of day, first of all. Because again, you could make that mistake. All right, let me just see what time of day it is. I think it's early, but. You never tell in the woods, can you? Oh no, it's night time. So yeah, this that would have been a big mistake. Try and pick up these coins, because if you're going to drop them, it's better to drop them this side of the wall. Don't do it, give me money, please. I feel like just doing some archers, just to kind of spend money, really. Well, even though you haven't upgraded, by, by the way, this is where this game is slightly different than uh, Two Crowns. It's, these guys have got little spears, so when you first hire them, they've got like a little spear, so they can still actually kind of kill things, especially the, the lower level ones, but they won't last long. They'll very probably kill one, then the next one will kill them. Uh, so they do, just, once you give them the archery thing, then obviously they're archers. I want to keep invested in archers a minute. Right, now we're going to go for the boat. And I think we may have enough archers. Although, I'll tell you what, let's do some more. Whoops, wrong one. I'm going to do some more, because I want to leave some defences behind as well. So I'm going to do a couple of these. So hopefully those will stay. So I'm going to do a few a few of them. Um, is there a camp out here? So let me get things set up. Get a few guys hired. So we've got plenty of... Oh, there's a long way that way. Uh, farmers are probably alright for farmers. And this guy's going to give me a load of money as well. And then give him the coin back, of course. Do 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 <laughs> Love the music. I tell you, when I was playing it the other day, I had the music up louder. Much louder. Make the most of that, buddy. Right, now I'm going to ring the bell. Now, once they're on the boat, they're safe, so if the Greed do attack, they'll be safe on the boat, because they're... Obviously, the Greed can't jump. Or swim. So, they'll be safe. So, that's going to call a couple of builders, a few archers... ...onto the boat. And then, if we press it a second time... ...we get another builder and some archers. So, we want to take a few with us. Right? course they'll amble along. This is why extending the wall is important because it just makes that distance shorter obviously. I won't go too much go on too much longer I'll go 90 minutes a maximum but I'm really enjoying this uh, I'd love to be able to do it for longer but you know I do get a you know rather nasty neck ache unfortunately uh, due to a whiplash I had so uh, go on all say ah oh, go on although you don't have to <laughs> it's always nice, isn't it? Is it? 
Right, let's see. Uh, it's getting uh, it's pretty near night time now, so let's see how uh, is on the boat. And then viciously retreat before they cut me down. It's got a couple of builders, by the look of it, two or three builders plus four archers. So it could have been it was too late in the day. Or we didn't have enough archers. How many have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's do a few more. So I would like to get a second force of archers. Which is a bit higher than one force of archers. <laughs> Sorry. Too much Monty Python, that's the trouble. And then maybe another couple of hammer. I mean, just to spend money, really. <laughs> Got stashes of the stuff. Right then. Ready for the big night. That's it, you have a munch. Ta. Well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. So, hopefully, they, they should be able to def defend themselves. Probably with a blood moon as well. Oh no, yeah, we want to try and pick up these coins if you can, if they drop outside, because they'll pick them up and use them. Oh no. Now that could be it. But I do like to get try and drop them this side of the wall if I can. Because at least they'll pick them up, won't they? And then we could do that. Give us a little regiment there, look. Right, now let's get the boat onto the next island. And then we're immediately we're going to search for. Well, probably don't need a coin box. Let's set up the camp. Well, probably just set up the camp. Right. So I'm going to call another lot because I'm greedy. I want to go with a boatload. For all those who don't know what a boatload is, who are not sailors, it means a full boat <laughs> or a full quota. <laughs> It's one of my funny, hilarious non-joke. I can't even think of what to say. Sometimes the brain works brilliantly. It comes out with all these fantastic jokes. Other times, you know, not chancing out. Now, is anybody coming? Looks like that may be the maximum we're allowed on this boat per this journey, like. Yeah, no more volunteers. Oh, well, this, uh, we better go there then. Oh, and even the horse is completely knacked. So, this is all we got then. Any uh, any offers? Would be nice though if you could set this boat in motion and then pick up a few coins, innit? Because you kind of empty your app, you know, a bit of your corn bag before you go. I'll tell you what I'm going to go now. Because we've already said. Go now, build, explore, defend, conquer. Four simple words, which means terrific hardness. Next island coming up. Da, da, da. That's where it ramps up a bit. Right, okay, they're all going that way. I've got a pretty much full bag, so there's no point in me looking for boxes. But I shall be looking for diamonds. Right, so again, economy is number one here. So we hire a couple of guys. We light the fire. So we have our archery in that, and then we look for the first defensible position. Now, if I can find one that's wider, you know, a bit further away than that one, although we're completely out of breath here, so let's have a little bit of grass first. Right, now let's hope, let's see if there's anywhere, a l just a little bit to the right, not too far. So that we can build it there instead of way down there. Okay, well that, for our immediate... Right, no. So we're looking to widen the camp. But, um, you know, it, it's the best possible place. So first of all, we can do this one. And this one, I, I would recommend. I mean, the first day, first couple of days, you're probably alright with just that one wall. But I, I wouldn't be very long doing that to the second tier if I was you. And probably doing that. So now we've got to be careful with money. So we want to recruit some guys. 
Now this is your need a diamond for, obviously. Now what time of day is it? It's kind of midday-ish, so I can't go very far. I just want to see if there's a camp here. It's fairly close. And we'll tempt them with a bit of money. Right now, have we, how much have we got on our bag? We may not be able to pick up all that, so we'll leave that till next time. Because he's shattered anyway. So I'll take a nice steady walk back. When he stops puffing, that means he's completely full and puffless. Which of course is superfluous. <laughs> it's a perfectly good one of mine. <coughs> First bad joke of the day. So as soon as there's a little bit of time, we'll build up the second tier. Which is a little bit higher than the first tier. And we'll do the same with that. We won't do that yet. Why not, Uncle Way? Because <laughs> we're trying to preserve money. Although that wouldn't hurt, would it? Because there is a chest to my left. Where are my archers anyway? Oh, there they are, I was going to say. Right, now it's... So you're doing it up to the second tier, it doesn't take very long. So you're safe to do that probably two-thirds of the way through the day. Right, here we go, first onslaught coming up. Now, is this day one? It is day one. Now we, I can't remember if you, is, they don't get day one on the first one, or... Or it's the third one, I can't remember the actual structure, you know. I know the kind of basics, but I don't know, you know. So as you notice, know, instead of like one this time or two, now we're getting a bit more, all right? So we've upgraded that as best as we can. We've got about three builders, I think. Got Bob. <laughs> so I'm going to spend a little bit of money now because there's a chest to my left, all right? Which is just to my left. And there's the first joke of the day. And I'm going to do that. Just to clear the coins a little bit, but we are looking at knocking down trees for economy. Because that's our number one priority, is getting the economy going. And we've got to clear some of the trees. Just so that uh, we can get to the next lot of trees. So you've got to kind of do it bit by bit. You've got to expand your territory. And lovely relaxing music. And then we can pick up this first chest. And make sure when you're picking up diamonds you have a nice clear, you know, probably half a bag so that you can safely... And here it is. This is the stone upgrade. So if I keep on going, I'll probably find diamonds, all right? But all we're interested in now is clearing the path so that we can kill bunny wabbits. And that pains me to say that. Because they've never done anything to hurt us. Apart from B there. <laughs> you know, and, and in my eyes, you see, expanding it just to there, from there, it's a bit of a waste of time. I'd rather go for a little bit further than that. Right, so you've got to expand, you know, knock down a few trees to get to the next tree. Alright, and then we have a nice little farm area here, which would be... Right, see, we can't do that tree yet, although... I think a guy's coming to hit it. Yeah, there he is. It's got a little rune on it. And that clears the way so you've got a better view. So you could say it's a rune with a view. <laughs> and I'm sorry about that, but that was the first awful joke. <laughs> a rune with a view. I mean, that's not bad. It's one of your better ones. Is it? I don't think so. So now I'm going to do another one of these, and I do some more archers, and I'm going to see if we can recruit a few more. I just want to empty the bag a little bit so I can pick up uh, maybe some diamonds, because they maybe further along could be some diamonds. Right, where's the closest camp? Please let it be. Now I notice on each, as you go to each island, they are getting further and further away. Now, oh, this one's quite a long way away to the camp. So. Probably a waste of time going there. I'm not going to do the boat yet. We don't do that yet. We wait till the economy is going. I know I've barged on about the economy, but you know. 
You know, it's number one priority is get the economy going. Because once you get that, everything else flows from that. And I like flowing. Now again, we're knocking down a few trees, so we're going to clear the things, the, the wabbits. Because if you watch Tom and Jerry, you know that you always enjoy a few wabbits. Right, they're all retiring behind the wall. That probably means it's the wrong time of day to go out nitpicking. Right, okay. Second attack. Right then. I do like the whole vibe of the Viking thing. I, I think it's a really fantastic makeover. And they're not charging very much for this game. It's only about £7 in English money. So, I don't know. What's that? Ten, $10? $9? I don't know. Right, here we come. Oh, and again. Oh, and you got a mask guy already. So, yeah, normally you wouldn't get the, uh, this guy quite early in the game. But second island now so things are ramped up we're hugely inefficient with our arrows so first we've got to knock the helmet off before it can kill now to go okay first i'm gonna have a bit of grass oh no he's not worn out yet okay so now we're gonna go all the way out here and we're gonna explore and it's really as soon as this guy starts puffing we need to be finding a bit of grass and it could be quite a, a long wait before we get to grass and i want to find a camp as well it looks like the camps are a long, long way away here. As I say, sometimes you get a run of the, you know, you get a run of bad luck, and the camps are a very, very long way away, which m means it's difficult for them to actually get back. Right now, this. What is this? Not sure. So I'm not going to do that yet, because that's a lot of coins. Right, here's our grass, so we get to the very far end of it. I want to try and do a fair run on this, so that I can get... Well, I hope, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll try these two and see if they make it. Right, it's that one, okay. There is our first portal, so we're going to get more now, okay? So if I go to the map now, you notice now we have three portals. So there's a big one, uh, which is on our left or right, Plus there's the lighthouse one, plus there's an, an, this one. So we know that our first target really is to the left. Now I'm going to go a little bit further. I doubt if I could be able to get back in time. Now there is the... I haven't really got enough room to fit it, so I will do that next time. But we need to open that, unlock the stone. Ooh. See now, if I'd have um, hired those two guys, they probably agree would have come out and killed them or took the coin off of them. So when you got camps that far away, you you don't run. At, you want to activate that very early in the day, as early as possible. There's a wonderful mount. Uh, I can't remember if it's the second or third island, but it's a fantastic mount, which goes incredibly fast. Uh, he's got kind of a, he's got kind of a like a, a faster run normal run but he, th then he's got this kind of sprint which is absolutely fantastic because it goes really fast about three times faster than this is amazing so it's really good for getting out of a tight situation and then this is another kind of creature here although I know it looks like a waterfall but <laughs> But there is a kind of creature hiding, high hiding in there somewhere. Right, now, you should give us some money, although we don't want it. And then we give them one back, okay? Now, I might think about doing this now, just up one level. Not too much. Here comes the lightning. Right, so we're clearing the woods now. Now, don't take away the tree next to the his camp. Or the trader will never come back. Once you have some farms going, you know, then you can get. You don't really need the trader, so you could kind of knock down those trees and get rid. Of it. But make sure you've got that at least one. Uh, now that's fairly close to the camp, so I'm gonna let him do one more, and then that's that's as far as I'm gonna go because I want to preserve that camp because. Darkness is coming, and he's close enough away that he should get back in time. Let me just check it out. 
Now you have got different zoom levels on this, uh, so you know you can do it. You know, like oh, sound, <laughs> sound your twit. Right, you have got a few zooms, so you can turn the zoom right in like that, nice and close. Oh, he's not. Oh, I don't know if he's going to make it. I think he. I think he will make. I oh, don't drop me the coin. That was almost cost you your life there, mate. So you can zoom in like that. But it's it's probably better to kind of I don't know go around about there. It's totally up to you. You can go further away, which gives you obviously a bigger view or what's outside. As you can see, it won't be long before these guys break through because of that guy with the mask. In fact, it might break through now, which means they're dead. Luckily, there was only like one left, and his skull, you know, his skull thing come off. So first of all, we got to build this wall up. And that's number one priority. So now we need that wall. So we need the diamonds. So I need to spend enough money to collect the diamonds to go to that, to get a stone upgrade to turn this into stone. Right now, you don't have to build two or three tiers. Once you've reached, say, tier three or tier two, something like that, then you don't need to rebuild it all over again. It just goes to the last one you did, so that's good. Right. Now I'm going to... See how much... How many coins have I got? a lot of coins. Right, let me spend a coin uh, or t spend some coins here because I want to get those diamonds. And then the, the the idea after that... Oh, I shouldn't have done that really. Oh, no. That might be all right. The idea next is to get off of this island back to the first one. Now, you can kind of secure this one. You could kind of go to secure this one and then go back to the second one, you know, or maybe go to the second one, secure it, so that the kingdom is yours, and then go to the third one. You know, you can do it how you want, but probably the safer way is, uh, and that's not an advert for uh, a supermarket, <laughs> is to go from two to one, so you upgrade those to kind of stone, and then come back again. I know it seems like a bit of a waste, but there's a lot of money on that first island. Uh, we really are, have got a good economy going here, so it wouldn't take long to get that boat back again. Now if you just drop a coin here, there's a little doggy here. And he kind of like warn you of danger. And generally make a nuisance of himself. <laughs> but he's kind of a fun guy. So this is probably the next good spot here. So we've got a, a rock and a, and a mount. Now let me try and get these diamonds quick as pos. I'll hire these two. Although I don't know if I am going to pick up those things. Oh right, in that case... I won't. Uh, but next time, we'll get out of here as fast as possible. We'll build the wall there. But yeah, I've still got a few too many on me. Can I build this? Actually, I'm going to spend these coins just so I can empty my bag a little bit. I don't know what it does, although the builder's dead now, isn't he? <laughs> I try to do the right thing, and sometimes, you know, my button just cannot stop pressing. When you see, like, some little two little rings or you know three you, you kind of want to press the button to fill them up don't you even though it's the wrong time of day to do it well it's still daytime so if they can get there super quick oh no 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 maybe that they won't bother because they know it's a lost cause oh good it's a lost cause good oh they're a little bit more intelligent in this game they don't send themselves to their doom Hello. Got anything for me? I didn't really want them. Right, so let's do some archers again. Oh, I can't. Well, in that case, I'll, I'll do a little force. Oh, no, there's only one. <laughs> yeah, I can say I should be able to do some more archers. So there's only one, one, one of the force. There's only one who's got the force. So, good luck, mate. But yeah, you didn't do bad luck when you got a shield. Taking a little bit of punishment there, he's, he's out of retreat, so he's lost his, um, you know, little spear and whatever it is he had. So as you can see, look. Oh. Now once they come b back and, you know, and they're bashing into you, that's the time to get out because you don't want them to, obviously, uh, 
Right, so I still can't go for diamonds yet, because the first thing I've got to do now really is hire some people. Hate having to hire people, don't you? <laughs> I say, don't bother with the boat yet. But yeah, we got to build the stone walls uh, fairly soon. Right, diamonds. Are a girl's best friend. Now, I may need to drop some coins here to pick up these. Oh, it's only two. And then pick up that after. Then they go on top. Alright, so those are the things that will go first. It's the things on top, not your diamonds. And I remember getting to the fourth island on the normal to Kingdom Two Crowns and with diamonds on and losing them. Because I made a fatal mistake and never got those diamonds back, unfortunately. So you, you mustn't make mistakes like that. Pick it up. Pick, if you could pick that up, guys, it'd be great. Eat then. <laughs> so don't forget, if you enjoy this video, then. Uh, oh, actually, oh, we've got to build a wall here. I forgot about that. So, yeah, I'm trying to like, lose coins, really. But we only got two co two diamonds, so we more than that. So I need to spend some. Just to create a bit of a gap. So we've got to build this wall again. Which is good. So I'm looking to spend a little bit more. Just to empty the bag a bit more so I can get that last diamond. What is that? Oh, oh, they knocked down the wall on here as well. Oh dear. So as you can see, they're already getting strong. I mean, we've only, we haven't been here very long, have we? Now, hopefully, we can build to the second level. So I can use up a few more coins. Yes, good, good, good. I want to empty this bag a little bit. And possibly do a force. I'll do that as well. I'm trying to just use up. I know. I do. I know. This is probably a stupid idea. Although we have a farm. Although actually, we got a farmer. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I think we've got another tier to get the f get the farmers. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got to go up another another level. So it don't look as I can do it today. Right. Make sure you feed this guy again. Right. I'll, I'll be stopping soon then. All right. But we got to go up one more level to get a farmer, and then we should be okay. Now it's no good me going now because it's too late in the day. Alexa, room light fifty percent. It's getting a little bit gloomy in here. Oh, room light is not responding. That's because I switched it off. <laughs> so let's turn it on. Alexa, room light fifty percent. Although it's maybe too early for her to do that. Yeah, all right. It takes a while for the wireless to connect, I know. Right, lads! If you would like to defend that wall, please, I'd be great, very grateful. Camp is a lot further away. I haven't really got many to archers here, so this could be a little bit of a struggle here. Oh dear, guys with masks. Always bad in my book. I might have to get away here because they could get through that wall. Knock the helmets off, please! <laughs> Knock their horrible Norse helmets off. Oh, thank God, at least we didn't lose all of them. Right, now I'm going to go for the... Oh, no. I'm going to do that. Do that. Just to spend some money. And get a couple of these. Because they've been dethroned. Their tools have been taken off of them. Because I'm going to empty that. Right, that's enough. Now I'm going to go and try and get uh, one more diamond to get these better walls. Eat! Oh, he's not out of breath yet. Okay. So now we've got to try and get there. It's not very far, so, we sh but we, we do need the uh, diamond, which is quite a long way away. And this horse has got a lot of stamina, but my god, he's slow. My anti could go a bit, little bit quicker than this. Not much quicker, but <laughs> Whew, it's a long way in it. 
wonder what that is. Oh, oh I know what this is. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I almost thought I knew what it was then. Oh, look, there's a little chicken there. Boop, boop. And it's, uh, it's very hard to resist saying that, isn't it, when you say chicken. Yeah, I told you. Go, guys. You haven't got all day. Ah! Bit risky. I'm not going to risk you, but I need the diamonds right now. Or forever hold thy peace. Right, now get back. I hope he doesn't run out of stamina too close to this thing. Please don't. Oh no! The last thing I want to do is lose a diamond. I may have to drop a coin. Because this guy could catch me up. Because I'm going to run out of stamina. Yeah, I'm going to have to drop a coin. It's the only way to preserve it. So I've got to get back and activate stone walls. So that's my tip. If it's like three or four after you, then probably not a good idea to drop a load of coins because you want to keep them. But. The only time you want to do that is if you've got a, vicious, you know, a lovely good economy, but right, here we go. This is the man. This is the one we want. Now, once you've done that... Oh, you get this. Forgot about that. I'll tell you what, I'm going to risk it, because this guy is fabulous. Uh, see what I mean? Look, look, look. See what I mean? And they go a lot longer. Plus... And here's the beautiful bit! It's... When they recharge, when they're trying to eat, they just go... And these are like cats. They just jump there and whoosh! It's a bit like the griffin. You know, very quick at recharging. Oh, hang on. This wall's not built. Huh? Huh? No, I'm not panicking. Although some would say that is a panic. Could mean the other one might not be might be doing. Oh god, I, I, I may have made a mistake here. So I need these guys up. I need a force in the front. May the force be with you. And and and. So this could be a mistake. I don't believe that's a cat actually. Oh god, just in time. No, this one's done. Oh, we're, we're in for a bunch of bananas. Oh no, no, I'm, uh, oh no. Kill him. Kill the vicious brutes! Thank you! Right, okay, tragic error there. Don't do tragic errors. And that was one. Have I got any builders? I have. What well on Bob? He's a good builder. Right, okay, now we could. This should be the next tier up. So now we need these stronger walls now. I thought this was the uh, stone upgrade. I, I got that wrong then. Could be the second thing that we found. Well, I'll have to finish in a minute because Nick is just starting to whinge a tiny bit. Well, a little bit more than a tiny bit, more like a, a medium bit. Okay, yeah, it takes a long time to do that wall. But it's very imperative. I might have busted to do it earlier in the day. Now, as I'm probably doing this too early, I may well be doing this a little bit too early, actually. Because I'm running out of coins now. Any of you got any stuff for me? We haven't really got an economy going here. Not that down. I might do a couple of rabbits. Give him the one coin. These are only source of income now, so... But we need the better walls, because obviously they're knocking down the other ones. Right, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm in a little bit of uh, smush now, because we ain't got many archers. And I'm running out of coins, so I'll have to do a, an archer. So, yeah, I'm in a little bit of trouble now. Got a stronger wall. I don't know, is it, did it do the next upgrade and then, uh, I do believe it did because it, that has gone up to the white one. 
so we might be okay, but we've got very few archers, so I need to hire somebody now. And this is where this guy comes in. Because, my God, does this guy move? And he's got a lovely sprint mode as well. And as soon as he starts to puff, then obviously, you know, let's puff the magic dragon. But that would just take you back to the old slow one. We don't want that. Now, we can go quite a long way now. And, and then we can just stop. Like that. Although, no. see that little flash? Now, that flash means that you can do a massive sprint. Ready? All right, but I'm going to recharge him. Although, I didn't know that was going to come. It's daytime. Oh, well, that caught me unawares. That's lost us a diamond. Oh, dear. I wasn't expecting that. I wonder why that is. But, yeah, he's got to eat quick. Luckily, he can eat anywhere, this guy. You don't have to wait for grass. So make sure he eats, he tosses it up to his mate, and then we can press this when it, after it does the flashing. I think it does a uh, sprint mode. So it's fairly fast, but there's a, a special kind of dash mode, which is super brilliant for getting us out of tight situations. Ooh, right, I've lost the diamonds. That could be crucial to us winning this game. One we may get away with. <laughs> he, he said forlornly. Right, we've got very few archers here. The chance of survival is slim. What are our hopes? We need archers fast. Kill them! Please kill them! Please! Please! <laughs> Please defeat them! Took the coins and ran. Yeah, see, we're in a bit of trouble now, and we got no income. So we're we're in a slight problem now because there's no f well, that's the nearest farm, but we'd have to get rid of the trader guy. So, and it would take a few coins to do that. So yeah, this is a little bit risky now. We're in a little bit of hot water, but having this chariot is. Uh, really good because he does recharge up really fast and he can eat anywhere so uh, try and get this guy oh obviously we don't stop too near that wait till he tosses that thing into the other one's mouth all right now we'll hire these because it's early in the day i don't know why those guys attacked that top oh, no. all right all right make up your mind yeah all right so our nearest camp is there now, if you're not sure about whether you should pick up diamonds, I wouldn't pick them up because if you make a mistake, because we are getting, they're kind of getting through the wall now. I need to find the wall bit. And really, I could do with a builder out there. That's probably a risk of probably putting them in, but that's where we need to, although actually this is where we need to build a farm, it's here. The trouble is it doesn't let you pick any of these trees, so it's... Sometimes it won't let you do that. Right, I just got to hope these can kill some deer. Oh, thanks, buddy. What a lifesaver he is. And you, well done, mate. What about you? So if you stop by them, they'll drop coins if they have any. So, we're in a little bit of trouble now. We, we have got to try and survive now. Um, because they're all a bit far away, uh, it's, it's going to be difficult now. We need to get farming going, and uh, no farm really that close, is there? We got that one, actually. It might be worth upgrading, although I don't think I've got enough coins. Holy bananas. So where is this uh, upgrade? Did I get it? Because I thought... When I got this, that was the stone upgrade. But I seem to get a chariot as well, so I'm kind of doubting that now. There he goes. Gets the thing, eats it, throws it to his mate. And he's fully charged, and we get a nice sprint. Maybe it's this one. Oh God, they're coming during the day, yeah? That we're worrying. But if we're in this situation, you know, just get a nice kind of way in front. Get a nice bit of distance and then stop. 
and let them eat. That should give you enough time to be able to get away. Uh, I might, actually, I might do that one just so that I don't waste that diamond. And you'll get this guy. Now that guy, he likes to tempt some of the uh, some of the deer. They kind of fall in love with him. He kind of tempts them towards the camp for our archers to shoot in the back. Which is a little bit horrible. But man, is it enjoyable. But I, I, need, I need some recruits as fast as possible now. And they're all quite a long way away. And in fact, the, the arrow upgrade on Island 1 would have been handy now. Please knock the sh helmets off. Because they die very easily if you can just knock those helmets off. Come on, just one arrow got to hit him. Come on! What do I hire you guys for? <laughs> to just sit around? It's, oh, it's not daytime yet. Yeah, he won't do, have the little one come up. Right, we're going to go this way as fast as possible. And we're going to try... And that one has quite a bit of stamina as well. But it's not a quick recharge on him. Yeah, I could have sworn it was that for the stone upgrade, but obviously I got that wrong. Uh, so I'm going to go as far as I can now, past that portal. Because, yeah, I thought it was that, so maybe I did get that and I didn't realise it. Now, it doesn't matter about whether we got grass or not. We just need to hire somebody as fast as possible. We need more archers, right? And then we're going to take a little break, have a sandwich, crumb them, and then we're going to go past this because we can go pretty fast. And then we'll risk these two guys. And see if this is maybe it. No, I don't think so. Right, I'm just going to. Right, okay, so there's the thing, right? So there's the thing on our left. So we have one portal on our left, the, you know, kind of like archway, and we have that one on the left. So those are the two on the left, and there's one on the right. So left really is where we've got to concentrate again. Uh, we should be able to go out sprint this thing, so you can sprint past it fairly quickly. They won't activate any. And then we just recharge. Yeah, and I do love the little animation where, you know, one time it says, Oi, here, I'll have a bit of fish. Or, it's, but it's probably a mouse. Because I think they're cats. They kind of flick it. Yeah, yeah, you have one as well. <laughs> Although they do it in a Norse kind of language. So it's like, instead of meow, it's like, Mjotsnjadn. Mjotsn. Because it's like Norse. Yeah, well, I thought that was a good Norse, Norse impression, but obviously... Went down like a lead balloon, didn't it? Ever seen a lead balloon? I have. <laughs> I'm tempted to go out there, but what's the point? I mean, I like this cosy area. <laughs> Dare I do that yet? Probably not a good idea. I'll wait till I've got a little bit more money first, because I love money. But I'll tell you what, we do need... I'm going to do it, because I do need to get the economy going, and once that is built, then we're going to get, I hope, we're going to get the farm, please. Please get the farm. Oh dear, I've got to go up another level. He said in a very childish voice. Oh no, I haven't put up done the wall. Oh, holy crimson. Oh dear, are we in trouble now? <laughs> Oh no, what a tragic error that was. I am really disgracing myself at the moment. If I could possibly do it anymore. Oh dear, that was awful. I am making all sorts of mistakes. I didn't do this the first time I played this. I was not a dork. Uh, this time I'm being a dork by the look of it. Please don't let them through the wall. Don't let them through that wall. If anybody gets through that wall, you're to blame. Shoot them now. Kill them. Stab them with your stabber. 
Right, I've got to spend money now. Well, I've made it. Well, this is how not to play the game, by the way. <laughs> Maybe it's the third one the stone is. I mean, let's have a look a minute. Hang on, hang on a minute. What's the axe, axe signify? See, so really, we could do with the archer thing now, really, on island one, couldn't it? Because it looks like it possibly may be Island 3. I've got a feeling the axe does signify a better wall, with them, but because this is a harder map, obviously, then it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Come on, builders, hurry up! Right, I'll do another one. It's going way too slow. Right, okay. So, you see what I mean? We've got to get off this island. Sharpish like. Money? Money? Don't forget rid of that tree. Right, okay. I think to the right was the shortest camp. Let's go there fast. I hope it's the right time of day. If it's not, I'm in trouble. Right, I've got to eat. That's it, flick it. That may be our second best attempt at a farm. Right, let's hope. Oh. Run! That's it. Right, well, hopefully, these three will get back. Go, guys! Go! Diamonds? I'll tell you what, I'm not going to risk it, diamonds, because we're kind of barely hanging on here. And I want to keep the coins, really, for the farming. Because once we get the farming sorted out, we'll be all right. We'll be tickety-boo, as they say in the USA. Right, I'm getting near the two hours. I kind of feel like I've overdone it a bit. But once that flashing has stopped, we've got sprint mode! Any wabbits? Well, that's better than nothing. Yeah, one for that thing there, we, we, we'd be able to do a lot more, wouldn't we? Right, I need more archers, because we're desperately short of them now. Right, you, give me some money. Now! Oh, yeah, I'm, all right. So it looks like we've got to go one, one more tier. Oh, this brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> oh, an, an intended joke there. So we, we've got a farm, but we haven't got any farmers. Say so that's a backward step. So yeah, we're in a little bit of trouble there. Camps are a long way away. So yeah, this is going to be a struggle. This, this, this game does get a lot harder, even on the second levels. Oh man, please eat. <gasps> so it means. I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, Northlands could be harder, I don't know. I, I, I see, it seems like it starts off easier, but it does seem to be getting harder. Yeah, I might have to tempt some uh, poor little lambs to their death here. Oh, thanks, guys. You're real heroes. The 2nd Battalion. Now, did these guys make it back? That's what I'm wondering. These guys over here, did they make it? Oh, no. So I mean, when they're far away like that, it's really d difficult to uh, combat the innocent, isn't it? Oh no. We're in big trouble. Oh no, we're not. No, okay, we, we, we might get away with this. If that's if it can shoot straight. Right, okay, at least we was able to pick up those l lost coins. Whew, I'll tell you what, this is very scary, isn't it? I'm going to do a builder a minute, because I've got a feeling that we've lost a builder, and we've got to do that. Man, this is rubbish, isn't it? Right, morning. Morning. Right, I'm going to go right, give him a coin, and see if we can get some more. 
So, yeah, I'm struggling. So, I think what I'll do is I'll finish in a minute because the next time heck now. And I hope you enjoy watching it. Want to become famous now? I don't want to become famous. <laughs> I, I think that's some kind of joke when you see that come up. Some, something tempting you. You know, something grievous. And I don't get tempted by grievous. Or Emperor Grievous, for that matter. Right. Grab that, buddy. Might use that. Might not. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Now, maybe the thing is this side. Yeah, I can't remember which side it is for the uh, better walls. Oh, that's it. So, it must be the third one, then. Oh, my God. Oh, battalions. <laughs> I don't know what made come up with that, but maybe I like battalions. Oh, there you are. See, look, sometimes they hide and you, you know, and you can't see them. So I'm just going to get a little refill here. Whoopsie daisy. There she goes. Whip back. Try not to activate that monkey. So there's two on the right. It must have already removed the one that. So there's one, two. So it doesn't look as though it counts the kind of thing on the end then. Just counts portals where they arch their way out. <laughs> That's the right term. So I could do with going back to the first one, really, but I haven't really got enough coins, have I? And I need some sort of economy, which is proving very difficult because we've got a very small amount of land here. So I need I need to kind of expand it out, really. It's proving very difficult. I do need more archers. So I know that. But, yeah, hiring people has become a very difficult process at the moment. So we may have to use diamonds. So, let's see, I could maybe do that there. They, they might walk all that way to there. It doesn't matter if I knock these down. But let's see if I can hire a couple more. Hopefully they're not too far. I swore on this was a stone thing, but there you go. I think it's wood now. Um. So yeah, outsprint them a bit. So the darker mask that they've got on, that's the kind of more upgraded one. Right, I, got, I hope I can pick this up. Go on, swallow it quickly, toss it over, go on, go! Whew, that was hairy. Right, now sprint mode. Oh, sprint mode. Right, come on, guys. Now, uh, if I could get that, you know, if I had enough archers, I uh, I could do that kind of, you know, that little gang of four that goes out the front. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're a lifesaver. Really are. Got to... Knock it down, knock it down, knock it down. Hang on, I'll pick up that coin in a minute. Oops, whoops, it is. You should have done that. Went too far. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, hit your target man, hit your target man. Oh, that's it, that's it, it's that water, water. You'll get a big flagon of your fire, our finest ale for that. Well done. You got any builders left? Builders, pick up thy trumpet. Right, okay, I'm going to upgrade it now. Because we need farmers fast as possible. Right, I'm going to draw the curtains. <coughs> I'm not going to add anything to that. Those you do. <coughs> and it's very childish. Right. Where's the farmer? Farmers! Where's the farming unit? We've got to go wider for that? We might have to go wider for that. So... Where's the next possible spot? Although we've got to have time to do this. Excuse me. Oh, see, this is the bit I hate about the game is when you get a bad deal and you don't get a good place to kind of move out to. Oh, God, crumbs. Uh, I would like to leave this in a safe state. In fact, I'm going to save it there. Maybe I should have saved it before I made a tragic error. But, may, um, you know, maybe just building out of here. I hope I'm doing this early enough. If not, then I'm not early enough. 
Have I got enough? I've got to give him the one coin, haven't I? I thought I was going to get it far. I don't think we're quite wide enough. You've got to have a certain width on your camp. Uh, to be able to do far. Ah, there you go. Right. Right, we need... We could spend a few on this. Because farmers are our lifeblood. Now we've got farming going. Now the cash will come rolling in. So now we've got to upgrade that as fast as possible to the top tier. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Make sure these are fully built up. Right. And then we've got to try and expand out. And get some wabbits if possible. I mean, it's possible once we've got our, you know, we could get rid of this. That would give us a second farm here. So we could actually get rid of that guy. The only time he is he's very useful is in winter. Because when winter comes, well, you know what happens when winter comes. Yeah, the, the north is at risk. <laughs> right, is there a camp out here? If so, we better, no, too late. Too late in the day. Too late in the day, Ray. Too late in the day. See, once you get enough archers, you can have one of these little bunch of, you know, like a gang of four. <laughs> oh, hang on, I forgot that. Oh, oh God, oh, oh, I nearly forgot that. Forgot. That. Oh, that could have been fatal. In fact, I'm going to do one of those as well. See, we've got to hire some people to be farmers first. <laughs> Got four lined up and we haven't got any, so please, please don't knock that wall down. Oh no, it was a blood moon. Oh no, catastrophe has struck. Have we got enough archers to climb it? Oh no, banjo, I got a no, I can't, no, I can't, I can't, it's too late. Can I send, oh, I can't send that either. Oh no, we're in big stum. Fatal error now. Fatals. Fatals. Oh, there's that one, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't get that one. I mean, it might run back to there when things are dodgy. Yeah, yeah, look, they, they kind of run back, so they, that kind of saves them a bit. Right, that's it. Although they kind of died. Oh, jeez, made it. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. Right, go. We've got to build this up again. Man, I'm struggling. I, I want to I wanna kind of quit, you know, because I'm, I'm out of way over time, but I kind of want to quit. I've kind of messed it up a bit. I knew I would. Mm. Call you a dunce for nothing. So, don't watch me if you want to come and beat this game. <laughs> I'm trying try to get some soldiers so I can attack that portal on our left. Now, and then the second one, which is Portal 2, which is another great game. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that joke. Right, I need to go to a camp. Hire some guys. Right, go. Number one priority is recruits. Followed by more recruits, followed by more recruits. That horse is now redundant. So past its limit. Gone past its furniture date. Oh no. Now sometimes it is worth doing the camps that are far away. You know, you know, if they can get halfway back, alright? So if they do get the tool taken off, or they don't quite make it, they, they, they lose the coin off of each one, but at least they're kind of halfway, you know, a little bit closer to be able to pick them up a second time, because you'll just re kind of rehire them, but they wouldn't have made their way all the way back to the camp yet. So sometimes it's a good idea to do that one far away. And then maybe next time, you know, may have to only go this far. But sometimes I'm you can get them on a second go. It don't just waste two coins. But I need some farmers. And because the farming one is the most to the left, they'll pick up the farming tools first. So, you, you know, depending on where your tool stations are situated, you know, that determines who, who, you know, what they're going to pick up first. If you get me drift. Oh, I'm drifting all over the place at the moment. Where'd it go? I know, where's the farming thing? Oh, the, where's, the where's the farming thing? I thought this was the farming thing just now.
they like destroy it or something? Oh yes, yeah, because the wall's been knocked down. Oh no, we haven't got enough. Oh, hang on, we have now. Oh god, we've got to get this built back up because that's why the fireman thing disappeared. Give us a dosh, please. Oh, thank you, lifesaver. Oh, the bigger life saver. You will get a big mug of our greatest flagon. Oh, they're coming, are they? <laughs> oh, cool. Keep building, mate. Keep building. It's imperative. I'll have to do archers for a minute. I, I'll have to waste some money on that. Hope you didn't get the f uh, the tra uh, you know the oh, 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 yeah. concentrate right concentrate. Got any money? Please, please, please do it in time. Please, please, I employ thee. Right. It's tough. It's tough. Can we do the one? No, we can. Kill him! Kill him! Death to all fighter, foreign invaders! Kill all the English! That's it, well done! Gold star for you, mate. Right to the farmer. Oh, I think we're in all kinds of smush now. We've got to rely on this guy to fill our coffers. If you'd like to fill the coffers, please. Anytime. Oh, no! Oh wow, well, we're in all kinds of pain now. So don't listen to me. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I did this the other day to about a third island and I was playing beautifully. I made one slight mistake on the third island and I go and stream and everything goes all to pot. That's just about, it just about sums me up really. I am useless. Uh, especially when I stream, I do, you know, so, something comes over me like some invisible force. <laughs> uh, and it, you know, it kind of destroys my my brain. And uh, this is a classic example. I'll do better next time. Promise. Any guys that are close by? Please? Oh no. Please don't make me unhappy. Oh, you are going to make me unhappy, aren't you? See what I mean? It's like really unlucky now because they're really long, long, long way away. So I'm going to risk it this time. I ain't got. I mean, this could be a bad risk, followed by an even bigger risk. I just got to those guys get back. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on. If you do, you had the biggest Norse flagon you've ever seen. That's more like Scottish than uh, Norse, but... <laughs> Ye, get back you to your north, friends, and you will have a good flagon of beer, bigger than you've ever seen in your whole life. <laughs> Is that anything like Nor Norwegian? <laughs> oh no, we, we could have the big one now. The oh, well done, lad! You'll have a gigantic flag on, mate. Run, lads! Run, I implore thee! What's that mean? You kind of get used to all these noises, you know, what they mean, but I ain't got a clue what it means, to be honest. Give me a dosh! Please give me a dosh, please! I think, we're all, I think we're dead now. I think we may as well just run about. We may as well just collapse at a heap of mildew now. And then I'll play again and I'll show you how to play it properly. But I'm failing it, we'll pick up that. Oh, forget that wall, I ain't got enough money. If you defend this fort now, tonight, I will 
bring forth a great hero for ye. <laughs> My Norse friends. <laughs> I ain't sleep at Clabon. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> we got a builder actually. We got we lost a bit oh no, we got a couple of builders. Oh, if only I had one of those tough guys at the front. Oh, I haven't got enough archers. So let's get enough archers. Oh, I'll tell you what, I love that coin. Well, I can, I can make a grand escape anyway on my little thingy. I don't care about them. Oh, they kind of got through fast. Shoot them! Well done, well done. Whoa! Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no! Stop him, stop him! The evil fiend! Speed, kill him! Well, that was a pretty poor attempt, wasn't it? Kill him! Kill them now! Kill them! Kill it all! Oh, well done! Thou hast passed thy gravy train! Oh, I've got higher on first, am I? <laughs> oh, we are in heaps of trouble, no? <laughs> okay, well, this is not going very well today. You could say that. Oh, don't tell me that they're coming. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you could say we are well and truly scrindified. And I was going to say so a little bit less than scrindified, but... Please, have you got some money for me? Dosh. Oh no, I didn't pay him. Well, that music means... You've messed it up, lad. Well, it's a bitter end. And that music tells its own tale. We're low on troops, we're low on money. The farmers got obliterated before they could even get their hose scraped. And I'm going over time. Because I'm trying to retrieve the situation and get the economy going. And it's a hapless waste of time. I mean, there's, some, there's, a, I mean, there's plenty of you. Why can't you... Yeah, farming! Far oh, thank you. Get that farming going. Oh, hang, hang on, I've got, oh, I've got no, nobody to hire. Oh, thank God. Oh, no, I haven't got enough. I need... Somebody drop me a coin, please. Any old like this. One of those, eh? Oh, thanks. But well, I might get rid of this diamond. I know it's a stupid thing to say, but I want to be stupid. Messed everything else up. Might as well mess it all up now. Let's this diamond on. I don't care what it is. There's a lovely lady close by who wants a diamond right now. Please, forever hold thy peace, and I will present thee with one. No? Oh, there's a guy there. He's a bit far away, though. Is it worth it? No. Well, I think I'll, I'll quit there when we're on a losing streak. Next time you see me, I would have pulled this out of the bag. Although... Don't count your monkeys on it. Yeah, I must admit, when I first saw that, I thought that was stone. It's obviously not, it was a complete fool. Anything? No? Maybe I'll get on this guy and tempt all the deer. Uh oh. Next attack coming. If I haven't got a wall built, I'll bump into my underpants. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to say that. Although I, I kind of laughed at me wanted to say it. Can we pull ourselves out of the gravy train? Please see off this attack. If you see off this attack, lads, I'll beard you a, a, a woman for every guy that... Well, there could be women for I know. All right, a man then for every woman and a guy for every guy and, 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 and the, rest, the rest you can just share them all between you. Although, you know, maybe I shouldn't be saying stuff like that. But, that, you know, it's just me. I'm just being stupid. Foolish and don't make, you know, don't make any big thing about what I just said. That was purely for laughs. Yeah, we need soldiers, really, which is the next tier up. But 
so the economy's good. We're pretty much laughing at the sun, aren't we? I'm going to hire that up. Oh, we've already got four hired up. Please survive the attack, lads. If you could survive that last lot. See, look, we've got a farmer going. Now, he should be safe in his shack. Please stay in your shack tonight. Do not be tempted by the greed. We will offer you great gifts and then whip it away from you before you can say hello. All I need to do, I think the right hand side was the best place to hire things, wasn't it? There you go, off you go, lad. Right, is it night time? Daytime or I can't quite tell. It's kind of a miserable day really. <laughs> oh, well done. Nordish greetings to you. So it looks like the camp on the right. Come citizens! Join our Swedish community. Become a Nordish Oh god. Yeah, buddy, want one? Oh, there you go. He said that all in Swedish. Or Norse. Which is like Swedish, but at a different time. Look at that, look at that, look at how fast that was. Straight into his eye. He just clapped it up there. You two get back, your farmers! It'll all be a farmer! Well, you're gonna be a farmer, you like that. I don't want to be a farmer! Shut up. You want the coin or not? Yeah, okay then, okay. <laughs> Shut him up, then. You got multiple personalities, right? No, no, no. <laughs> well, at least the money's coming in. It's always nice, isn't it? Right, okay. Farmer. So once, you, once you get about three farmers going. Yeah, they're, they're, I hope I haven't queued up anything else, because obviously they're going to go for the hammer or the sickle. Oh, is that, well, one of them's going to go for that. Yeah, never, never pre-queue them up unless, you, you know, if you want them to be farmers, never pre-queue something else up to stop them. And that guy there is going to... Well, not him. I'll tell you, like, it was him. <laughs> yeah, it's got, when you, when you, you know, when, when you, it's like, you give them a coin, and it's like, oh, hello, oh, suddenly I've got a new coat. And a spear. <laughs> yeah, I'll do another one. Alright, oh, we haven't got any bit of higher it, but still. Okay, we we could pull this out of the bag. Didn't know I had a bag. <laughs> All we need to do is get through hang on, I'll wait this side so if they drop coins it goes my side, not their side. Well done, well done. Flagons all round. I like the little droplets dropping into the lake. It's quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> he said before doom arrives. Oh come on, I want to go home. <laughs> I want to. I want a biscuit. <laughs> Shoot straight here. All right, that one bad. That one bad. Get rid of the guy with the brown hat. He's the leader of them. He's the leader of the pack. He's the, pack. He's the leader of the pack. And that one. What a mask. What a mask. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh. Two flagons for that guy. Is there no builders? Oh. <laughs> right, I think we've turned it around, you know. Could afford me, mate. Before me. Yeah, wherever you go is like a long way to a camp, isn't it? It's like half a century away, isn't it? Right, I'm just going to get, if I could just get a few more, just get a couple of extra farmers, the money you start rolling in, I'll be able to earn a decent income. You know, maybe get the boat going, because really we could do with getting that boat going and get back to Island 1. Upgrade that. And then maybe attack the evil. Geniuses. <laughs> Called the greed. God, look at that. It's like Formula One, isn't it? So, 
I swear that's Lewis Hamilton there driving it. What a great guy he is. And the best thing about Lewis Hamilton, of course, is the fact that he's British. Through and through, thick and thick. Best British man we've had since the last British man we had. His name escapes me at the moment. Now, is it worth trying to hire another lot? Oh, it might be. Yeah, it might be. Right, go, go for it, guy. Go, for farmers. Maybe an archer. We'll see. We'll see. Depends how you get on. Depends how fast you learn, mate. We'll throw you in with John Snow. That's sort you out. Oh no! 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 Don't. That's it. Kill him. Get the goal. Well, don't hang around then. They might because you tempt them out. Well done. You get a big flag on tonight. A Scottish one. <laughs> Look at that lovely, look at that lovely build. You know, funny we could have access to that, we'll get us somewhere, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what, it would be a good idea to build out here. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, Ray. Next time, we're going to go out there. That's a fabulous place to build there. All right, it's a long walk. <laughs> what that sound? I don't, I don't know what it is, but that tune reminds me of something. Reminds me of some film or something. Please write in on a postcard and address it to Uncle Ray Ray. At awesome. <laughs> dot uk. Dot <laughs> and uh, tell me where that you know that kind of reminds me of something. Not a lot. Oh, heaps of praise, heaps of praise, heaps of lovely praise. Oh, farmers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Champion man, champion. <laughs> Don't know why I'm speaking my northern accent, but. Right, uh, right, we could, I mean, I could go out there. I mean, it's not far, but... <laughs> oh, flag on the sea! Right, it's arches. Arches, three of those. See, the one on the right, I come to the one on the right, and the other one to get the right, one on the left. Farming, yeah, we're industrialising with farming. Farming's the way to go. Go on, that's it now. Now we are in with a chance. Get that boat now. Boat now. Boat now or forever old eyepiece. I'll tell you what. I am very tempted to do that now. I know that's a... I'll tell you what. No, I won't. No. no. Well, I don't know, though. It might be... Well, in case you die and lose all your coins now, it might be better to spend them. It's good planning, Ray. Good planning. That's good. Oh, full of evil genius. That's right. Can we do enough to send the guys out there now? Don't let them in. Don't let them in. Don't let them in. <laughs> kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Thank you. You all got Frankfurters tonight. <laughs> well, there was nothing to do with Norse mythology. But I liked it. What about this side? Did they get through? They did. Painful idiots. Build! Have we got any builders? Pop! Well, there's a builder. <laughs> they love that sound. Oh, I know I do. Okay. Archers, that are ready. Coins! There you go! Right, get building. Get, get knocking. Get killing bunnies. Well done, well done. Just need to survive this night and a couple more. We need to survive the big night. Which is, I'll tell you what, I might do that one as well. No, no, don't do it, Ray, I ain't got enough. Wait till you get some coins for it. That's it, oh! Norse farmers are the greatest in the world. Did I ever tell you that? Look at that, what a bunch of heroes. Heroes? I'm tempted to do a second gate, just in case the first gate disappears. I'm running run a bit low on funds. I mean, they'll be farming away like mad in a minute. We do need to exceed our boundary. Have we lost our, um... Have we lost our, um... Our, um... Have we lost our, uh... We have, aren't we? I think it's because this wall fell down. Where is it? Have we lost our farmers? 
Calling all farmers, calling all farmers. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't be a blood moon. Right, our next target is as in uh, that place over there. It's the next upgrade point. We need to get there so we can get close to a close to a thingy so we can destroy it. One swift move. Oh god, this has gone on way too long, isn't it? You overstage your welcome, Ray. Yeah, we need to expand rapidly. Why are we suddenly short of things? I, I don't know, I can't understand that. We seem to be quite short. Or because it's not very tall. <laughs> this should come up with it, right? Yes, it was. Yeah, it seems odd that, um... It might be because this one's fallen down, so let's put this one up. Build this! <laughs> I may have said that in a... A German paraphrase there. Which is like, a, you know, it's like time slipping backwards for and forwards at the same time. And then that may bring it back miraculously from death. Although it could be that there should there was a wall beyond there. I mean, I'm, oh yeah, that's what it was. I don't want. Make any mind. So I knew I knew we could pull this out of the bag. I mean, it's better than any kind of bag would have done. I'll tell you what, I think you need shields. I think that's where we're making a big mistake. Oh, wrong one. Kill them! Kill them, my Norse heroes! That's it. Kill the fight. Kill them. Kill them. Kill the. Kill the breeders. <laughs> well, they are. I mean, they are. They are breeders. As the you know the big guys that puke them out. If you, oh, sorry, pardon the expression. Let me go and hire a couple of imbeciles. <laughs> I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna do the boat. Now is the time for boating. And we've got to totally rebuild it from scratch. So it'll take a bit of a while. Take a bit of a while. Uh, and then I'm just gonna do it so we're in a. Well, dare I say, a comfortable position. Anything but a comfortable position at the moment. So I don't hover there too long. That's it. Charged up. Right. Okay. You! Back to the island. There's a blood moon. Go for it, Sonny. Get Jimmy! <laughs> I don't know. I'm not saying I'm a right lunatic. And they're right. If you're listening, by the way, neighbours. I'm not a lunatic. An idiot. Oh, the Supreme Fox Gaming. Hey, God, I, I'm sorry if I've kept you waiting. Supreme. <laughs> I thought, why is it I miss everybody? Huh? Am I such a loony? I keep missing everybody. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I mean, I, I mean, how many times do you want me to say sorry? I mean, I'll say it a million times if you want me to. Is that the sun or is that the moon? Hard to tell, isn't it, really? I'm tempted to do that, just to widen it a bit. Because why not? And do that. Just to give my gut and my guys something to do, just to increase morale. Probably the stupid things I've done since the last stupidest thing I've done. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There are... <laughs> there are our builders? Come on, we need some builders! Yeah, but... <laughs> Sorry. Now, we've got to get this built. Now, you've got to get this built by night time. Three flagons each if you finish this by night time. If you do, I will be indebted to you for at least five minutes. Uh, it's just too late. No, it could be too late because it takes a long time to do the next one. What do you think? Yeah, I think we got no choice. We got no raspberries because they, they get past that without any any kind of nimbleness. Oh no! Don't do that. I'm going to do that just in case. How will that help? I don't know. <laughs> right. 
Oh no, the lightning's come as well. Right, we just got. So if we can survive this, then I'll, I'll 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 wish you a merry Christmas and a happy. Oh no, cranberry sauce. I wish I could have these one guys in jail. These idiots that kind of put themselves forward and do stupid things. Anybody need arching? Oh, I might have to give them. I might have to give them these. Oh, that's oh, that's a fireman. I thought it was a shield. What? Right. Come on, you must defeat them. Kill them. Kill them. Shoot, wait, shoot, that's it. Go on, get them. Oh, oh, go, go. Not them, not them. Come on, bash them. Well done. You evil geniuses, you. You are great. You should go down in the... Oh, blow. You should go down in the annals of time. Which is in about five minutes. <laughs> That's it. Get building, lads. Well, that was a great catastrophe. I thought it was going to leave us in at least half-decent state. Ended up with the United States. Well, it's going well, Ray. You never pull this out of the bag. Or I'm an evil genius. Here comes the sad music that says... You have failed, Ray. You will never be good at this game. Not as long as I'm president of the USA. <laughs> and I haven't got any money left. Have I got one coin to give to this rabid idiot? Yes, oh, thank goodness. Well, you did well, men. Although we got no money now. Please, farmers, farmers! Give me every coin you have. Look at how you earned it. Dodgy business or not. Please give me the coins. No. You shall be painted onto the walls of tattooed freedom. Whatever that is. Right, walls need to be built up to the fast dimensions. Yeah, we need to get off this island. That's what we're. That's where we're going wrong, isn't it? Pick up days of days weapons, there, boy. Oh, we're, we were just as we were dragging ourselves back from the uh, conundrums of hell. We've gone back into it again. Come on, guys, do a bit of hunting. Do something. Cut a tree down or something, that, I mean, that'll help. Or a diamond? We ain't having it. Alright, cut those trees down, want more wabbits. Very tempted to get that guy, but... Come on, faster, uh, faster lads, faster. Uh, tell you what, I think I'll stop now, because... I've reached a point of no return where I just want to roll up and curl up in a corner and just say, what's the point? <laughs> Hello? Well, that could come to save us, could it? And here comes our lovely guy here, was why he's so important to us at the moment. Yeah, I need to got one more, I think, to get the soldier guys. The big beefs. <laughs> right, I need to hire some guys now. Right, I think I'll, I'll end in a minute, because... Yeah. Giving up on life now. Oh, no, no. Well, so much for building the boat. That was a bit dumb idea, wasn't it? Don't worry, the next time you sit... Oh. <laughs> he, he's, he stopped quickly in his words. Uh-oh. Please don't let that be a blood moon. Please. Please, from the annals of time. Eat. Give your buddy one as well while you're at. Okay, right. <laughs> Lose that man. I need those guys that you know that would goes out in the front in the shield. So, right, give yourself a shield, mate. Don't all rush for it at once, will you? Go on, go on, go on. Please, please. Stand away, Ray, stand away, because they're going to get you. I'm a marketman. Oh no, let's have those. Hey! Go 
I'm back. I wish I wish I could just, like nut them in the edge or something there <laughs> as they're retreating, yeah. <laughs> not not that I recommend nothing, but can we got you know Well put it this way, it was in Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Like that, I mean <laughs> oh, evil genius that he is, Peter Jackson. All safe. The horn is blown. I think I'll leave it there. You know, I'll drag it back somehow. I'll drag this out as a mirage of hell. Next time you see me, I'll boom in the car me. An idiot, you know, somebody who can play the game. So this idiot is at the moment. We'll, we'll install somebody else. We'll, we'll get that Ray Ray Awesome on it because he's brilliant. I mean, I'm razor free on this, as you can see. And I haven't even got a razor, which probably explains why I'm useless. Uh, <laughs> all right, Supreme Pot Scale. I'm doing a very poor, shoddy performance on. On Norselands. I got an island three without dying, and then I come into this game and it's like I'm completely useless as soon as I go on stream. Why does it always go wrong for me? Why? What have I done? <laughs> it's useless? I mean, that's a... like trying to hire a Norseman in, this, in these parts is like trying to find an Irishman in a pub at three o'clock in the morning. Well, that's not that difficult, actually. <laughs> you didn't laugh then, did you, right? No, no. No, no. Let's be the wise of Irishman that we laughed at. Right, put a bit of spin on it. I suppose there was a camp within about 10 miles. Ah! So you got to do that when you see a chicken. Right, if you two can get back before tea, then you can have some. If you don't, you're, you may as well milk a cow and run back home again. Oh, there's a, there's a mouse there. Grab it. That's it. It's very self. It's very selfless, isn't it? He just picks it up and then he tosses it to his mate. He's like, oh, I'm all right. I have one. I bet half. You have the other half. But I suppose if you did it twice, it'd take longer, wouldn't it? He looks like a Christmas one, doesn't he? Uh oh, all we want to do is not have winter come. Now, in the first game, or the second game, you know, uh, New Lands or, or Kingdom was the first one, uh, winter comes along, you pretty much, you've had it. So unless you've invested in your banker chap, banker chap uh, you've pretty much had it in uh, winter time. I think we need archers more than anything. Well, they're all going to go for farming, aren't they? Right, I just wanna... Is the sun going down or going up? Oh, it's going down. Right, lads. Come on, there's enough of you archers now to destroy any vicious enemy in this side of Christmas. Is that a guy that's hireable? Or lowerable? Can't tell, there's somebody creeping around the bushes there. I oh, know, it's him. It's Aragorn, it's alright. <laughs> He's Aragorn, I don't know. Some idiot. Right, I'm going to eat you. I'll take a thought so I won't eat you. <laughs> we'll get a suitable distance before we start eating. Oh no! Now he's completely out of wolf. If you don't toss that into your mouth quick, we're in trouble. Right, Whew, got away with it. Just, right, sprint mode. Oh, oh no, what did I do there? Sprint mode. I meant to press that and accidentally slipped, my finger slipped down onto the A button. Oh, there. Ah, right, now we got, okay. Right, you! We need to send the kamikaze pilots out. Oh yeah, yeah, because th these will do the job. Go on, lads. <laughs> Put yourselves on the line, come on. Three peers all around. That's it, stab them. Thrust upon my thrusting us. That's it, thrust them out. Go on, go on. Pile them down, that's it, pile them down. That's it, what a Cornish one. Cornish one? Well done. Now, wasn't that a great investment? <laughs> I'm going to do a few shields a minute, because I feel like they're shieldless. Whew, what? <laughs> now, these guys probably didn't make it, they were wandering over here. So we'll instantly go back, and then I think that'll do for I've fastly gone over time here. It's even made me raise my voice there a little, you know, I went up a tone there. Right, sprint mode. 
We need to get these guys the next couple of recruits as fast as possible. It's a bit about ten miles away. Didn't make it then. Right, okay, get back there. You shouldn't stop near there. Oh, it's daytime. I mean, is it a cat? I mean, I don't know. What is it? Is it like a... I love squirrels, by the way. I don't know what sound a, sound a squirrel makes. Is it like a chipmunk? <laughs> I thought I can do a very good chipmunk. <laughs> Apparently she thinks it's a dog, but you know, that's her fault. Uh, I do. I would like to get a boat going, because I'll tell you what, I feel like retiring back to the first island, staying there for the rest of my life and never going back again. Any builders? Get building over there, lads. We need a second th thrust. Off you go, lads. Thank you. What would we do without them? I'll tell you. We would have lost ten years ago. Build it up. Build it up. I think we left it in a... <laughs> I was going to say a safe position, but I think that's way far from the truth. I can't pull, I can pull this out of the bag while I can get the boat going and go back to the first iron. I think we'll be uh, we'll be in a good place because we can come back with reinforcements. And I, and I, and I think we'll be alright, you know. Although I said that last time and then got cruelly f torn to bits on my own words. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for the couple of guys that come in today. The Twitch, Carl and Supreme got... Supreme Fox Gaming, thanks for coming in, lads. If I didn't get to you in time, please. I mean, I think the Twitch cat did did stay around long enough to you know to actually you know say hello, <laughs> which is always nice. Uh, so we'll, we'll make them archers. They're coming in from the right, so they're going to pick up the arching uh, implement. You know, gone off farmers. They're not bringing in the dough. Yeah, we need to advance out to the next bit, but I kind of run out of time now, haven't I? Oops. I'll have that, lads. I'll have that. Drop it in my... Well, I, well, don't stop. Wait till we get back. Wait till we get back. Wait till we get back. Oh, good. We've got the uh, kamikaze pilots. Right, kamikaze pilots coming up. Yeah, we need we need this guy here, which is the, the flaming kind of... Flameness. No, that's not it. Oh, we haven't got the one on that. But yeah, we could do with this, really. So I'm going to invest in that. Oh, look, he comes. It turns into a big white guy that throws chemical, industrial chemicals at them. <laughs> but, you know, like that, yeah, or, or a gigantic rock full of chemicals. And that helps considerably in the dethroning of these vicious twits. What's the matter, lad? Did things not go well there? <laughs> well, we're kind of, dare I say, old and our own. Yeah, we need to expand to the to the west, which is to your left, by the way. That's just for Jess's sake. <laughs> Sorry, Jess, it's a joke. You know, you know, I'm like, you know, for jokes. You know, I mean every one of them. Did I say I mean I mean every one of them? No, I didn't mean that. Right, guys, uh, have you got any money? Right, okay, we're, we're whooshing this way as fast as we can, and then I think we'll, you know, then, then I, think, yeah, I think that's it. Because you know, I can't remember which is the shortest route, left or right. Or east or west. 